one we're live season two holy crap episode one i ran out of time so i didn't make the new intro so no, no intro video we're starting raw it's raw season two so raw so raw we're all gonna get chapped so raw we're gonna need we're gonna Awkward. need burt's beeswax brand lip balm <laughs> Not sponsored, but you know, if they want to show up and pay money. I'm ready to get 75 cents of that plug you just put. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sponsor, but please sponsor me. I would love just a crate of your chapstick. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It's like a pallet. No, a whole, just a, just a whole truckload. I'll never I can just out. imagine you walking into your garage and there's just a pallet of it. And like 10 years down the road, it's like, isn't this expired? And you're like, is it good enough? No. Does, wait, does chapstick, can it even expire? It's not chapstick, it's beeswax. I don't think it expires, man. It's just oil. I don't think it expires. Anyway. <laughs> Awkward start, but here we are. Here we are. Yeah, you know. The listen. strongest season two start. <laughs> in the history of television. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be... An Osrin show if it didn't have an awkward start to it. But we're back. Holy crap. It's been a month, you guys. Like uh, just three days shy of an entire month since the last time we've played this game. And oh boy. Has uh, has there has it been a long time coming? I I am excited, so excited for this season. I have got so many things planned. Uh, that even you guys who helped me plan this uh, season don't know about. <laughs> uh, but for maybe what could be the last time, let's go around the table here and introduce our characters because I'm going to be putting that in the new intro video that we're going to be showing up hopefully next week if I can get it done. Uh, but yeah, let's go around the table. Tell them who you're playing, Rachel. <clears throat> hey, I'm playing Rushy, the Dragonborn Monk. Sing, ready? I'm playing Tail, the Cobalt Wizard, and Paige is his familiar. Genie Bra. I am Genie Bra, the half elf, College of Spirits Bard. Chad. I am Quothe, the Goliath Barbarian. And Jobis. I am Vilmar of the White Raven, playing a human paladin. And I'm your DM! Smile Woo! for the camera. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, guys. All right, let's see. It has been an entire year in Osrin, and almost a full year uh, in real life, actually. Uh, we just I just noticed uh, the other day that the first YouTube upload of our show was, like, February 9th or something like that of last year. Like, we've almost been... This game has almost been going for a whole year. It's wild. Um, but it has been a year... Uh, with all of the downtime and the various things, uh, you guys found out that uh, <laughs> time moves a little differently in the plane of water, and apparently also in uh, Santex Loss's demi plane. Um, but yeah, it's been an entire year. You guys have lost a little bit of time. Um, I think your actual adventure uh of season one lasted about three eight, weeks eight or nine months well with the downtime for leveling up i think it lasted about eight or nine months uh the maybe even closer to 12 months but the calendar in osrin is a little strange it is a 16 month calendar uh it was a 450 day year uh but uh yeah, you guys, uh, it has been now a full year. We come back into season two 
on New Year's Day of the year 4993 of the Fourth Era, the era of heroes, magic, and mysticism. Um, what? Uh, what has been going on in the world? Uh, or more specifically, with your characters over the last couple of months. In fact, let's um, let's let's move back over to the Eastern Amirius map. We'll zoom in a little further as we start talking about your characters more specifically. It's New Year's Day. Reshi is showing up to town after being away uh for a few months uh actually um she has uh she actually stayed behind um on uh <clears throat> with to talk to Santa Claus uh stayed behind in his demi plane uh for a little while um Rachel, do you want to let people know why, or do you want me to let people know why? Um, so I was training, um, in a new sort of like manner. Uh, Santix Gloss was teaching me, um, several things. Uh, one of which, um, can I spoil alert or should we wait on that? No, this, hey, we're in it. We're in it to win it. Okay. Well, um, he's taught me a new breath weapon in which I can use all the different, um, like acid and and ice and all that. And then I've also got wings now. That's rad so as lots hell. Of fun. Cool. Yeah. Did you steal the wings or did you make the no, wings? No, he taught me how to like sprout my own wings in battle. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Reshi spent the last uh, couple months. Uh, with Santix Lost, learning uh, to be a Way of the Ascendant Dragon monk. <clears throat> um, we, you, you return uh, to town, uh, not via boat or carriage or anything like that, uh, but again, one of those uh, rainbow portals um, that you guys uh, actually use to get to his demiplane. It's a rainbow portal opens up um you're slightly preceded by an arctic breeze and a few snowflakes before you step out uh into asari and i will tell you reshi it is like a oh, complete 180 like as far as temperature and weather is concerned um new year's in um in the northern hemisphere of Osrin is actually in the summer and the Asari is like on the equator it is really hot it's really sticky you're in a swampy you know area with a jungle only a couple hundred not even a how far is like yeah a couple hundred miles you know, away from where you are, like it—it it is a steamy, hot, sticky mess with you know giant sturges, you know mosquito, basically giant mosquitoes flying around and stuff. Uh, it is like I said, about the furthest thing possible from the cold Arctic environment that you've spent the last few months in. Um, but uh, when you return. Uh, to town, uh, you return to the town of Asari proper. Uh, you guys, you see that there has been some development in the town. I was able to get this half of the map done. Uh, did not get the the other half of the map done, unfortunately. I saved a file just before the show and closed down Photoshop, but it was a few megabytes too large, so I couldn't uh show it. Uh upload it but we'll have that next week uh you see there are a bunch of like i called them dirt hovels on my map because they all have dirt floors uh but there's been like a bunch of like ramshackle um buildings like put up 
in uh like around the outside of Asari and like the main town walls. Um there's like a large influx of uh people here now. Uh the city is almost doubled in size since uh you guys like defeated Drazan all those months ago. Um most of them are, you know, just they they work in the farms outside of the city or they're like tradespeople, merchants, you know, that kind of thing. Um there's a larger coalition of town guard uh and whatnot. Um and one thing that I like to show if I can let's see how would I do this? I wanna show off the new guild hall, so let me spend enough money on the shit might as well show it off yeah i just can't upload it to um yeah it's like five megabytes too large oh my god so, yeah it's a really big picture uh, mr genie father jody has uh improved your life in general and given you that yes. bardic so, I Jeff, is history. everyone in town with me, or am I just kind of heading in by myself right now? Well, like, don't uh, see anyone yet. Yeah, so you're um, you're there, uh, and the other the other characters are around. Uh, I just want to show off real quick. I know it's kind of covering up our overlays and stuff, but you can see there's the there's like a temple that's being built on the opposite side of the river, uh, like a little priest house uh, above it. Um, there's a little courtyard, um, some more houses down below and a little cemetery, but like the biggest, uh, biggest thing to, to check out is literally big is the guild hall. <laughs> the guild hall is That's improved. Awesome. Um, you can kind of see this area with like green beds in it. That was the main guild hall before there is an upstairs. This has occupancy for 25 adventurers. Um, you guys have built on in front of the guild hall. Uh, you tacked on a working tavern and inn where Rowan um, is, you know, playing his music and stuff. There's a blacksmith out back. Uh, there's a small temple um, right to the left of the tavern and uh, bedrooms for guild uh, members. And then a, a small uh, bank. Uh, which I'm going to have to add furniture to uh, in the upper left there. And then you have your own personal vault on the very, like, top wall of of the complex, I guess, would be a good way uh, to say it. Walls are being built currently around uh, your guild hall uh, so that it will itself have walls and be protected in case of a uh, siege or anything or something like that uh but yeah it has it has changed reshi um as you take this all in um you do in fact hear uh some music coming from inside the tavern it's probably mid to late afternoon at this point uh, and as you enter the tavern there's a few townspeople there uh, but n notably, you notice uh, a friend of yours, a one Rowan Gine, who has changed. <laughs> he he looks a little, just a little. Uh, looks a little different now. Darker. He rolled hair, for midlife crisis. Dark, darker. You know, Roll for initiative. Dark you get crushed by his eyes. <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa there, Mrs. I've got wings now. <laughs> Look, she has been weird here lately. <laughs> I've decided to make a few life changes, okay? It looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. You get crushed by a rhinoceros <laughs> that, you've, that you've lovingly lovingly named Mr. Hornsby, and then you'll you'll... You'll suddenly... was, it, was it the rhino or the owner of the glass slipper? <laughs> oh, God. I'm I'm gonna say I don't understand that reference <laughs> in Screw You, Barbarian. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. 
from his heavy drug use days. <laughs> Now it's We're only so my drug use. I'm as clear headed sure as I've Dallas ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Snort some arcane powder, and your eyes start glowing pink. Your teeth. He didn't. He didn't. Steel. He didn't crush that giant rock of. <laughs> <laughs> I crushed that giant rock on weekends. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, Rowan, what uh, what are you playing? What are what song, or are you telling a story or a tale, or uh, as you're entertaining people in this tavern during the dinner hour? <clears throat> I've been, you know, I I've been really into um, into just you know chill. Me, hold on, I can play something. This is preparedness. This this is gonna blow his mics out of it. <laughs> I'm I'm expecting this to be like the beginning of Back to the Future. He's well, he does like, have the jean jacket on. He's gonna play one chord and just destroy everything. Fly across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is death. I feel Thank like you. he just turned into a bus. Guy. Thank you. Thank you. Beat Nick Thank you. Everything is death. That was the, you know the super the edgy. That was that was the whole song. That was to do something was really else? Good. Everything is death. Yeah, Continue to enjoy Arby's. Thank you. Continue to enjoy Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> I just started following the Nihilist Arby's Twitter account, and it's amazing. I, I suggest it. It's great. See, I just, the vibe I get from the new genie is, uh, <laughs> is that club in the Goofy movie, uh, you know, with all the, the hipsters, the you're, you're doing a spoken movie. word. Uh, you're a Goofy movie. Right. <laughs> well, wait till you find out what I'm doing. Look, I've, it's been it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been a rough time for me since, like you, died. yeah, since I died. Exactly. <laughs> like don't blame you. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, tails is wearing a duster now. I mean, shit's gotten real over here. Yeah, yeah. this <laughs> like, is true. Like fourteen though. <laughs> I want you guys to know that the duster is just a little bit ill fit, kind of like a kid going to high school with dad's uh, trench coat on. <laughs> Does it like drag along the ground? So it's oh, so basically like you're just three feet movie. of it. You're just in a John Hughes film. Yes, I am. Yes. It I, makes I two of us, basically. <laughs> We're just in 16 candles enjoying life. <laughs> You like to wish I'm the 22 year club, old but... who just <laughs> inexplicably never graduates. It just stays behind the building smoking cigarettes. <laughs> In this case, it just happens to be arcane dust. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out behind the bleachers at around like 4 30 ish in the afternoon. Or something Trying to like tempt that. all the other kids into doing drugs with me. Hell yeah. Hey, kid, you want to get high? I'll show you some real shit. Uh, sure, Mr. Rowan, sir. I'll, I'll imbibe a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like somewhere behind the guild, there's just a secret graveyard. <laughs> just kids oh my God. I'm not killing kids. <laughs> no, they just OD. That's all. That's, well, that's not my that's problem. That. Has the killing kids arc finally ended? Is that what we're saying for the season two? I, I think I think I'm going to I'm going to well you know what if a kid if a kid gets up in my in my shit then <laughs> they might have to go but so no he's okay. still dabbling Just in it a little sure bit want to make sure we're on the same page here so. I, I see Luke sometimes um there's a lot of frustration associated with that <laughs> yeah Luke may even be in your character portrait <laughs> <laughs> 
Luke may even be in the character portrait, sticking his thumbs in his ears, going Bleh! behind your back, like a lot, like very frequently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna take care of him eventually. <laughs> you're, gonna ex- you're gonna exercise him. I might have to. <laughs> Just banish him. Oh God. <clears throat> well, I look forward to that. Uh, but yeah, speaking of kids in trench coats and the new um smithy i'm assuming that is where we will find our little cobalt friend tail uh yes i i am working on somewhat of a noble's carriage on a small box on the back end um i've been working on condensing water with ice magic and making an air conditioner it doesn't work very well it just makes it kind of humid and shitty but uh i'm getting there Uh, sorry, and uh, Father Jerry, I think my bot might be broken right now, so I don't think we have sound commands tonight, unfortunately. I'm sorry. My emotion. That's what that's what that one is. <laughs> um. So yeah, tell us a little bit more though about the blacksmith in um. In the guild, like in the guild complex. Uh, yeah, so originally we tried to get uh, the town blacksmith to join us, and he refused, but he stops by from time to time as our facilities are a little bit more tuned than his. Um, if you go all the way into the blacksmithy, there is a almost shrine-looking spot with the head of a warforged. Uh, David has been installed into the forge and has been teaching me all kinds of interesting technique. It's true. After you shook him off of Jobus's sword. <laughs> yeah. I only took the head. <laughs> to be fair, like, I could only get so much of him back, and the head was the furthest that I knew how to, because I don't get how he's put together. It is true, but luckily, uh, his head is where his memory core was uh located and tail was able to basically is it's it's weird because he's a warforged but to put it in not exact terms but like a sort of metaphor for people to understand tail uploaded david's soul into the blacksmith like into the building that's so really now, inconsiderate of you. So wow. now, now David is the smithy. Like he just we're going is... magic punk this season. Yeah, he he just is the. Lord so you now. so we we murdered him and then turned him into an indentured servant. You see, you guys are all out here assuming it's a bad thing. He's stoked that he's semi alive again, and he gets to make stuff because that was his. Main I mean, goal. he could have been alive and like you know walking around. Sure, if anyone knew how to resurrect a Warforge. <laughs> yep. Or we... <laughs> Y'all can make a Warforge. Or we forge just don't kill the Warforge. <laughs> uh, Vilmar! <laughs> Substance says, y'all can take a Warforge You're looking at me, right? into a blacksmith, but couldn't save Luke. <laughs> uh, well... Uh, Luke was a different situation, all right? Yeah, Luke was a... Di- Luke... When Luke died the second time around, he made peace with Rowan, and he's he's there. He's still around. He's he's hanging out with Rowan now, but he's just he's just a ghost. He's happy to be a ghost. There's a lot of pressure off a young wizard when you're a ghost. You know, you get some cool magic powers like you know incorporability. You know, possessing people and all that kind of shit. Um, for free, you don't have to like work at it. As we all remember, Luke did not have the best, uh, the best track record at casting spells that weren't farts. <laughs> so he's at peace. He doesn't. He's he's just hanging out as a ghost, floating around. He's obnoxious, but he's not. He's not tormented or anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know how tormented he is or isn't with you as the guy he's following around, but. <laughs> <laughs> He he's look look look. He We've had some to discussions. He chooses exactly. to follow you around. 
I don't know if that means he's just doing it to because he knows I hate it or, or what, but I mean probably just a little bit. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> um Sangretti got um Bardic. He's out here giving me new nicknames, Sangretis Spaghettis. Sangretis Spaghettis. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then I would, I would think, uh, we'll flash back, I'll say, yeah, flash back to the tavern. Um, I'm assuming that's where Quothe is, <laughs> just, like, smashing ales and stuff, like, literally smashing glasses after you, like, slug back beer. Can I just be passed out on the bar table? Uh, Yeah. That that's also <laughs> I possible. It. I, I want a pool of drool. Do you have pants on this season, though? I'm just wondering if the. No. Who's asking? Well, everybody <laughs> that's um, sitting there watching you I in have, the bar. I have shotgun gone... approach, huh? Answers now. <laughs> that is true. That, that, yes, I have. I have drawn an updated full body picture of Quothe for uh, the intro sequence. Uh, he is still not wearing pants. <laughs> oh my god. He is still Problem wearing Problem solved. Loin. He is just wearing a loincloth. And the angle and where his arm is positioned, you can't even really tell that he's wearing it. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's part of loin. the monthly guild expenses <laughs> to just You never go full loin. Always go half loin. Yeah, only half loin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, Quothe, you're just you're gonna like half passed out on the bar. Uh, you're like you know taking up so much space that people are serving drinks on you. Like <laughs> there's just like a halfling like resting his pint like on your abs. <clears throat> Oh, they do be good abs to rest pints on. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You can probably stick a full pint on each one of his abs. Because he is a Goliath, and he's larger than an average person. Uh, but, Reshi, you see this. Uh, you see, you know, Rowan playing his, like, emo music, and you see Quothe passed out on the bar. Um, when I do believe um, <clears throat> Vilmar, um, you told me earlier that you wanted uh, to call a meeting. Is that correct? Yes, to have a kind of a private meeting with the group, yeah. Uh, so each of you in turn uh, is approached by Vilmar, probably first to tail, because, uh, you know, he's off by himself. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he comes to you each in turn and asks you to join in uh, a little meeting he wants to talk to you guys in private uh to head up like maybe to the upstairs of the actual guild hall or, like not in the tavern proper um <clears throat> there is i th think there's at least one other person from the old cast of characters uh that plays an instrument so genie like someone else like can take over for you playing definitely not as well as you for sure no one else was a bard but i think um i think someone had like like a pan flute <laughs> or something be all right. like handle Domu it. did yeah Domu did Domu? yeah yeah so Domu, pan flute kind of Domu starts playing uh like <laughs> he starts playing like uh like hymns of the celestial dragon cuz you know that's the only music he knows how to play as a cleric <laughs> he just starts playing like pan flute hymns of the celestial dragon um while you guys uh go off to have uh a private uh little meeting <clears throat> uh, I will I'll turn it over to you uh Ilmar okay so basically what Vilmar wanted to have was um, uh, he kind of set up a pretty, before you guys get there, uh, like a meal for us all to have and share. Like we kind of- Last supper. Kind of, yeah, kind of last supper maybe or something like that. Nice big spread. 
But as you guys kind of enter one by one, uh, you'll notice that um, he's not wearing his armor uh, like he usually does. Uh, he's sitting at the table. His hair has turned a little, you know, a little big chunk of it has turned more white. Um, he's kind of got dark circles under his eyes. He's looking a little pale. So I assume that, uh, you know, we're all gathered here. So he'll basically say, uh, I apologize. I'm going to kind of wrote this out. So <clears throat> may not make 100%, but uh, he says, first, my friends, I wish to say thank you for coming tonight. I have a matter that needs to be brought to your attention. But before we enjoy your meal, I'm going to have to ask a favor from each of you without knowing what the favor will be. Do you guys agree to this? Yes. Roland, you just put the last supper up. What? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, I'm not agreeing to anything. Hail, <laughs> Kothe. Um, it's it, it's a little weird, but okay. Can you uh? Provide more information. Are you in need of help? I will need your assistance, yes. And the favor has nothing that we'll take from you. At least I hope. Can you, you tell know? us more? Is yes. It, is this, I just is want this... to make sure that you guys agree to this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not agreeing to anything. I would love to help you. I mean, but I'll step I would out like if you to want. Know more. I'll go back to playing my music. If you wish. Rowan exits the room. All right. All right. For my friends who have stayed, I must come clean and tell you why I set out looking for my family sword. Many years ago, I was sent north up near the human kingdoms to clear out some undead. I was sent with a small group of soldiers thinking this would be a quick task, but during this task, it was found out that the undead were coming from an old abandoned keep deep in the woods. As we attacked this keep to clear out the undead, we noticed as we were fighting them, some of our so the soldiers I was fighting with would fall in battle and then minutes later come alive again and they would turn their weapons towards us. As the battle drew on, we figured out what this magic was coming from. And the magic, uh, of the, uh, the source of this magic was a death knight. Once this was, I realized this was a death knight, I felt I was the only one who could handle him. So I attacked him with all of my might. I was no match for this knight. And during the battle, I was stabbed through my armor by a blade he was wielding. It pierced my flesh, and the minute it pierced my flesh, I could feel something pulling at my soul. There was a huge amount of pain, and I, part of the blade broke off in my armor and in the wound. The pain was so bad that, and knowing that I could not defeat him, I would order a retreat from my soldiers or with the remaining soldiers I had, and we left. And then at that moment, Lomar will stand up. He raises his shirt and shows you this wound. And the wound is, is kind of it's, it looks healed a little bit, but it has, it's black. It has, it looks like uh, vines growing out of it. It's growing up his, going up underneath his shirt and kind of, if you really start to notice it, you see it kind of coming up his neck and stuff and it's all black. But where these vines are, it's kind of rotting. Okay. And then he sits back down, or no, <clears throat> sorry. He'll, uh, he'll sit back down and he says, you know, this wound is never healed after the fight. Um, 
and is spreading, as you can see. And he also then he'll pull out from the side. He unwraps the piece of blade that was removed from him and from his armor and sets it on the table. And basically, this is the cursed blade that stabbed me. So this wound has changed me and not for the better. I believe that it has caused me to go too far in battles, like killing your old companion, David, and those innocent kobolds during our last battle. But what made me come to face the truth that my time is running out is when Amriel and I were talking about our family sword. A raging anger and hate builds up in me to the point I was about to strike her and kill her for the sword. But by the grace of the Justicar, I was able to gain self-control and did not attack her. I told Amriel this and told her my story, which I just told you, as of why I was looking for the sword and was in the hope to defeat this death knight. She has agreed to help by going north to find this death knight so we can maybe defeat him and maybe break the curse. She and the sword have already left out to the north and will return to you, to you when she has any information about his whereabouts. Now, I can no longer adventure you with you, my friends, in fear of what I might do. So I will stay here in Asari, chained and locked up until the curse is broken. But finally, my favor that I ask of all of you is if this curse cannot be broken or I become corrupted to the point I am no longer myself, I will need you to kill me for I am no longer, for I, for I cannot become what I've spent my life fighting against. Will you help me in this task? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I feel like right now, after it's been a year since our last adventure. Uh, well, it's been a year since the season one started. It's okay, been so... like for you guys, it's been maybe four ish, three, four months since uh, you guys saved Santa. Okay, so I imagine I'm starting to look like Thor in Endgame right now oh just because i've been sitting around drinking for like the last three or four months <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I mean either we need a montage to get me back into shape here or we just need to head out to that death night and i can work some of those off <laughs> so, you, so you're what's not gonna happen like... with gilmar then <laughs> <laughs> well uh, uh are you well is you agreeing to my uh, my favor, Vilmar's request? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tail. Uh, Tail is completely engrossed with the blade that is on the table, like both magnifying lenses down, studying it but not touching it. <clears throat> well, okay. Since you guys uh, basically agreed, um, and, and table talk, uh, Reshi was basically Vilmar's going to stay in Asari. He's going to stay locked up until, like he, like you said, he, he doesn't trust himself. Okay. Uh, he's being corrupted to the point where he's committing <clears throat> evil acts and almost killed his cousin just because of a sword, because of the power of you know the sword. Well, we got three people. We're going to need a little more table firepower. Talk. Yeah, I was going to say table talk. Then are you going to be something, someone else? Well, as as uh, as you guys agree, um. Vilmer says, thank you for agreeing. Uh, a couple of things before we eat. Uh, I have sent a letter asking for one of my good friends to come and join you guys in your adventure. He has agreed and should arrive in the next week or so. His name is Ajar, no, sorry, Aj <laughs> Ajahar Sunray. And that, he is a fighter who will take my place. I hope he likes being called Ray because that's a mouthful. 
Yeah, Mr. Ray, how you doing? <laughs> Mr. Ray. <laughs> and then um, he says, and one last thing before, the last thing before we eat. I have a gift for each of you who have accepted. Um, <laughs> my, my quiet friend, I give you this, and he's talking to Kothe. I give you my ring of protection as a token for all the battles we have fought side by side. So I give you my ring of protection. It's basically AC plus one and plus one to all saving throws. Okay. Um, I accept your gift and I'm thankful and I feel deep remorse for your situation and I'll help you any way I can. Uh, since Rowan stepped out, I'll uh, skip that line. Reshi, my lady, I give you my sword. May it serve you well and protect you as it has protected me. I mean, it's basically a long sword plus one with 1d4 radiant damage. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and tell him thank you and I'm sad. If, and then he turns to tail. And finally, my little tail. I give you my armor. And I have asked Florin Lewain, the blacksmith, to forge it into something that will fit you. <laughs> Maybe I, I like... was just appreciating the mental image of this kobold trying to put on your armor. Sitting for in the second. breastplate. Yeah, <laughs> just out. like... I'm strong now, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> um, and I and feel like uh, the breastplate could sit on the ground, and you could like sit with your like his hugging arms your out. knees, and you'd be <laughs> encased in just the breastplate, <laughs> like a turtle shell. But basically, it's yeah, it's just it's just plate mail plus one. So and he can turn that into. I know you mentioned you're getting maybe a half plate or breastplate or something. And that's basically basically it. And unless you have any questions, uh, uh, Mr. Vilmar. Yes. Can please. I take this piece with us? Of course, if it will help you. But just be careful. Do not cut yourself. You're with it, or your uh, fate may be a mine. So I'm going to use Mage Hand to put it in a lead-lined iron box like a mini jewelry box okay that's a good idea okay speaking of which i'm gonna go cast uh, mage hand at uh, level nine and go to the bathroom i'll be right back oh my god <laughs> i told you to before the show <laughs> before the show this guy literally refused to use the bathroom before the show. He did. We were like, go to the bathroom and he wouldn't. And I'm shaming, I'm now shaming him live on the internet <laughs> for that decision. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Tail, you collect the, uh, the, sh uh, the sword shard of uh, this, this cursed weapon. Um, what, uh, what, what do you plan on doing with it? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mage Hand to pull it out and show it to David, or what's left of him, that is, uh, and get any knowledge he knows on it. And then I'm going to put it back in the box, and I'm going to take it with us for just the general use that we might need it for something. Maybe I'll find some way to undo the curse on it, which would allow me to come back and then uh, you know, undo the curse on him, or allow me to track the death knight or you know all kinds of different stuff good item to have bad item to touch right yes vilmar also you know darren after we you know after all that and stuff he basically would go into uh, one reason ajar's ajahar is coming is to also help with the promise of getting rid of don zarconi i know rowan didn't stay but uh, Vilmar did say that, you know, he would help uh, Rowan in that task, of, of, you know, getting him under or out from under his thumb and stuff like that. So just to let you guys know. Okay. And Vilmar's not for sure how much time he has left either. It It could be years, you know. So... He just doesn't feel safe being uh, around people he's begun to care about. I think uh, Tail is 
Hale's going to go to Sif and talk to her because she has a rather shady patron past and have her watch over Vilmar just as kind of a, you know, make sure things go okay or it doesn't need to be dealt with as she manages part of the tavern. Um, sorry, go over that again. My brain just like turned off as I was reading <laughs> chat. Uh, Tail is going to talk to Sift to uh, try and, and help with this endeavor, uh, and she's going to watch over Vilmar and uh, mm-hmm. make sure she doesn't have to deal with him as she manages part of the tavern and the guild. Yeah. I think that works. Like, literally, we just bring this guild all back up. Uh, you literally could just lock Vilmar in your guys' personal vault. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> like, it's a, sec- it's a secure room, you know? It's got, like, a big vault door on it, and, like, it's, like, it's heavily secured. Uh, obviously, you know, Sift has been um, running the bank uh, aspect, like, the vault and stuff. Um, I know we had talked about in uh, the off season things like, you know, actually opening it up to the public, uh, like for people to like store their own money there and whatnot, and boring accounting shit that we're not going to go into now. But like, you know, Sift has definitely got like the keys to the place and everything, so she can get in there and you know give Vilmar food and stuff um so that he doesn't just starve to death while you're possibly out there looking for well while amriel is out there looking for a cure and whatnot um i think you would appreciate not starving to death (laughs) yeah yeah probably (laughs) we just come back and there's a skeleton in there (laughs) you know we got to feed him (laughs) we could just uh we could david you jovis you know i can cut off your head and you can be the second voice in the forge Oh God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I like tails. Just like, well, if it worked for one guy, it probably worked for. Him. I think removing Vilmar's head would actually kill him. <laughs> kill. Maybe, maybe. I know a lot of magic. We could make this work. I heard, uh, I heard a rumor about a like a, a certain set of golden collars that might prevent that. From- mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty useful. <laughs> different world, but Osrin's a multiverse, so is it really the, a different world? <laughs> I imagine someone's minute. gonna have to fill me in on things because I refuse to. to... <laughs> I'll just go out and tell you that he's dying and um, what we're gonna do, what our plan is, and so on. I have a question. If it's a multiverse, does that mean that? In this multiverse, the coat of or the cloak of dogs exists. Yes. And There's the a cloak, cloak of, of dogs. The cloak of dogs. Oh, and a cloak it's good. Of cats. Well, I want to. What is a cloak of dogs, and how can I get this? <laughs> yes. Oh boy. <laughs> what can it's I use? Uh, it is. Good God. Here, I'll just. Uh, You've yeah, made a mistake perfect. telling me about the cloak of dogs. <laughs> I'll send you the the information on it. Redeemed design a magic item. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's canon now. <laughs> if the DM says it's canon, then it's can. The cloak of dogs exists in this particular Woo! universe. <clears throat> Jerome says Genie looks like Papa Roach if he grew a beard. I said Papa Roach isn't a person. He's got more of like a Jared Leto vibe going. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. If he's if he's Jared Leto, then he's probably gonna have to be uh Beaten up by a guy in a bat costume. Oh no! 
And then, and then the internet, and then the internet right after. <laughs> yeah, then the internet right after that. Uh, but after getting uh, smashed in the face with an axe by a guy <laughs> listening to Huey Lewis in the news. I, uh, Jeannie, I, I sent you the information on the cloak of the dog. Okay. It's in your Discord, you'll, uh... It's a cloak that has pockets with dogs in it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It, it has giant big floppy bloodhound ears on the top of the cloak <laughs> that's i forgot that yeah it's like one of those bl- like one of those uh like you know those blankets you can get that have like the hoods on them because yeah it's a cloak right that has like a yeah. hood and it has like big dog ears on it holy shit i we need to acquire this eye <laughs> it can be really good or really bad you better take care of them dogs yeah also true um, so a week, uh, in Asari goes by, uh, Rowan, you're filled in about, uh, Vilmar and, and his, um, affliction. You guys, um, make preparations for him, you know, like outfit the, you get a uh, help from. Um, I always forget the guy's name, but the, uh, the elven blacksmith, um, close it already. It was like LaFont or something, LeWayne, uh, Falarian, Lil Wayne. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Falarian. uh, you, you get help from Falarian, like outfitting, um, like the wall with like big, like wrought iron, like hooks for, to like, you know, chain him up, uh, and stuff. So like he can't you know, rush at Sift when she, like, goes to feed him in case, like, he's turned during the night or something. You outfit the vault with, like, a bed and a bucket for, you know, things that he would need to use a bucket for. Um, (laughs) and, uh, um, after, after that week, uh, passes, actually about eight days, um, a boat docks, um, in Asari, and a very r- regal and majestic looking uh character steps off the boat. Um I'll turn it back over to you, Jobus, if you want to describe uh the new character Ajahar Sunray. Okay. Well, as you see him step off, you will see a a humanoid, roughly, <clears throat> who's right. Uh, he stands well over eight feet. Um, you notice that he is a little scaly, very golden, broad, muscular, <coughs> half dragon. God damn it! You okay there, bud? <clears throat> Well, you, don't chip, you don't eat chips while here before you have to talk. <clears throat> so he is, um, like I said, he's eight feet tall. He's a golden half dragon. He has um, wings and a long tail, horns, uh, the kind of sweeping back horns. Uh, his eyes are this like bright, blazing green, like emerald color. And um, that's basically, basically him. I have to change my art for you because I've missed the green eyes. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, put you up in the um, main window there. People can kind of see their armor and what it looks like there. Oh, yeah, he's wearing full plate, it's like really shiny. Uh, but it has like you can see in the picture has three three suns on the on the chest plate. You'll notice that he's carrying a a shield, a big round shield. Looks like a blazing sun has like blades uh, around the edges, and um, his weapon is a a flail. So it's this big, massive looking ball that has kind of the same type of blades. I want to point out that tail 
doesn't dig this character, but Sangretti super fucking digs this character right now. This is so cool. Really? <laughs> so, you know, and he, you know, he's he's a big boy. You know, he's like, you know, he's super heavy. You can kind of hear him stomp a little bit. You know, like you said, he's half dragon. He, so he's he's not just dragonborn. He's actually partly dragon. So it's really hard to find him in a crowd. Yeah, he, yeah does, super, he, he doesn't stick out at him. all. No, okay. No, it's yeah. impossible. He looks like every other guy. Uh, from, yeah, yes. from the Cobalt level, uh, Tail is interested, but he's also conflicted because he sees uh, Ajahar as a replacement for Vilmar, and he likes Vilmar. Ah. Uh, you know, that's fair. That's fair. That's definitely fair. And and I'm kind of of like welcome new party member. <laughs> welcome, dude. Glad we glad we fucking dumped the other asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you would have noticed though when he got off the boat, Vilmar was waiting there, and they did embrace, uh, as as like if they were brothers. Oh fuck. All right, so they're <laughs> friends. Well, all right. Are you as much a dickhead as the other dickhead? Oh, God. <laughs> it's really hard not to do anything. He just kind of looks at you and looks back at Vilmar. I mean, if you want to do something, I, I, dude, if you want to if you want to, if you want to jump, jump, son. <laughs> you think I, I ain't got spells? You think just because I ain't pull out a knife doesn't mean I can't fuck somebody up? Jump! Hey, uh, Genie. Yeah. How much health do you have? Enough. Enough. Is it less than sixty? <laughs> I got mine. I got my amount of health. That's how much health I've got. <laughs> uh, um, he just looks know. at Vilmar and goes, Let's "See, I understand a little bit." How much health does he have? As I... <laughs> oh no, I slipped my finger. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, what is it? I can't quite read that on my screen. Yeah, Ajahar is also a uh, <laughs> he is also a spellcaster. He's a fighter, but he's also an, he's an eldritch knight. So, and he likes to cast fire spells. Well, so. and he breathes fire too. So, I got some boys from the depths. If you want, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I, I'm honestly thinking about making you take a nap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got to give him a lot of naps this time. <laughs> it's a little, little too much angst. <clears throat> nap time. An Arcanite so, Baba at a look, nap. I'll con- look, I'll, I'll ratchet it down, all right? Someone's going to have to take that Arcanite crystal from him. You can't be trusted with uppers anymore. Genie. <laughs> If you tone it down, I'll be fucking mad. This is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to start start a fight. I'm just saying I'm not a bitch. You know, I've seen some shit. I'm not a bitch. Uh, Ashar looks at you and says, "Oh yes, I've heard of your legendary warrior abilities on the battlefield from Vilmar." We make him friends. He that was facetious. That was not. I look over. I look over at Rich. I'm like, that was facetious. He didn't actually mean. <laughs> he was. I tried to stab somebody like one fucking time and slipped. In uh, in hole in his chest, asshole over here is 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 telling everybody I can't handle myself. I'm just gonna give you a wink and a nod. Like I get it. It's all right. I know. Aren't we supposed to lock him in the safe already? No. Why is he out? Why? Who let, <laughs> who let him out? Listen, his friend was coming to town today. You know, Sif was like, he could visit him in the safe. He hasn't. Oh he hasn't. God. I don't have yet. a weird hole in my chest that's telling me to do nasty things to people. I just have a fourteen-year-old who maybe or doesn't or who knows that just materializes and no one else can see him and he tells me sometimes to do things but i don't i, I do what i want because i'm a grown man so uh, you have a morty you... now like a ghost morty 
Oh Fuck my you, god, Bill I didn't even realize that. He's yep. got Ghost Morty? That's so fucking great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Rowan, you, you can feel like a bit of uh, a, sh- like a sharp uh, pressure on the back of your head. Uh, the, the, the strong smell of cheese. Um, and you like, you look, you like look down and there's just like an ectoplasmic <laughs> wheel of cheese. And Luke is like standing behind you going, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> he like threw some ghost cheese at you because you were making fun of him. Ghost cheese. Watch out, ghost mice. I'm going to go have a drink. <laughs> I'll fill you in later, bud. Oh, yeah, I'm going back to the hall. So Rowan heads back to the guild hall as you guys um, show maybe Ajahar around uh, Asari. You know, you, you, just, you know, just met him at the docks. Uh, there is, like, like I said, uh, and th- there's, like, this nice market. Uh, there's, like, a an actual, like, inn and tavern for, like, people uh, to come and stay at. Um, a brewery in town. Uh, you know, lots of different amenities that you would find in, like, a small town. <clears throat> Blacksmith, tailor, log, uh, you know, lumber yard, that kind of thing. Uh, for building uh, more places. Uh, do you guys take him uh, past the, the little park? That has like your guys' memorial for like when you defeat uh, defeated Drazan and like saved the town from the incursion of the the goblin uh, necromancy stuff that was happening. I feel like he's going towards the guild. He'd end up seeing the park. <laughs> well, the park has like walls around it and stuff, so you'd have to like I don't know. If you want to like show him the statue specifically, you'd have to like go in there uh, and stuff. Uh, I'll just remind. That'd be weird it. looking at the statue with the person the statue is made out of. Uh well, the 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 statue actually features Sift, uh, prominently. Yeah. Everybody else, everybody else is just named in the placard. The statue itself is uh of Sift, uh, because she died during that fight, <laughs> um, and they had like commissioned the statue and stuff, uh, before you guys resurrected her, so. <laughs> yeah, they they never updated it. It's still just Sift, even though she's still alive and hanging out at the guild hall uh, <laughs> as a banker now. Um, it makes some really awkward conversations when people come to make a deposit. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Don't worry about it. What do you keep? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> um. But uh. But yeah. I uh. I think. Right now, um, I I know there was like some other stuff that we had talked about between like a couple of us about you know wanting to take care of some other things. Um, so I'll turn it over to you guys. What uh, what would you guys be doing right now? I know some. I heard tale of like a trip to uh, Minox shop, um, uh, and a couple other things, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> I don't know, like what? Uh, what? What does it look like after? Ash like, Mark? please no. After no. <laughs> no, don't go back to. <laughs> after Azhar gets uh settled in and stuff, um, what uh, what is next on the docket for you? Uh, Tail is straight up avoiding, uh, Ajahar. like just avoiding him. Uh, doing work on the carriage, uh, preparing for this journey. Rowan's uh, back at the guild hall, so he doesn't really know what's going on. What journey are we preparing for? Well, table talk. I well, thought yeah, we were supposed to be uh, kind of, you guys still want to do the Dong Zarkoni thing? I mean, we're going to be. Oh, yeah, since I mean... we're here. Oh, wait, no, is he here? No, he's in well, Don Zarconi's. Yeah, Don Zarconi is okay. across the Celestine Bay. In, he's uh, he's only Zelda. two weeks away from an ass whooping. Is what he is. He's he's only literally two. It only takes two days to get across the bay. Uh, see, even better. We can whoop his ass sooner. <laughs> so I guess. Um... 
because we were tasked he gave us a task to go find Amriel and bring uh, her back and the sword but Vilmar has sent her north um, and that's one reason Ajahar was brought here was to deal with Don Zalcroni but I mean we don't have to do that if we don't want so no, I'm 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 golden with uh, dealing with Don Zarconi. Um, he was a dick to one of my friends, so... Rowan, Rowan would prefer his life taking care of Don Zarconi. Let's do it. Um, before we decide to leave town, uh, Jeannie, uh, Tao wants to approach you. Um, okay. He would like to go discuss things with the mayor of the town, and he needs a good negotiator, because he's not quite good at it. <laughs> Sure, I'll come with you. Um, what was it Mayor Mayor McMuddy Bottom was? Yeah, Mayor McMuddy Bottom. The, um, uh, the guy who suspiciously looks like um, uh, what's his face? Bill the Murray. Actor guy. Yeah, looks a little bit like Bill Murray. Bill Murray. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> Wait, wait. Hold on. Let me if I if I actually pull him. Oh, Bill McMuddy Bottom. And I can. Oh wait, I. There we go. Everybody can see old Mayor Bill McMoody Batum. Um, the, the purpose of our adventure to the mayor is to see if he needs anything done as we are heading to uh, Reneas Alinar, and we will probably not be back for a while. Like, um, if they need something transported, or, um, you know, they're concerned about something in the town before we leave. Uh, he says to you, well, actually, um, <clears throat> just, uh, fresh off the boat here, uh, today, <clears throat> he, uh, kind of motions to someone else, uh, in the room, it is another rather fancy looking, uh, elf character, uh, although this guy is, um, taller than, uh, Moody Batum. He's he's probably like five foot eleven or something. This elf is probably like six foot four, six foot five. Very lithe and you know skinny guy in like very official looking um garb. But that garb is also adorned with like armor pieces. It's like um almost looks like cere like elven ceremonial like armor. Um Probably like a medium armor, maybe like a half plate, something like that. Um, <clears throat> he says, uh, uh, "This here is a uh, a representative of the Adventuring League of the Allied Nations of Firon. Uh Apparently, boys, uh, word has gotten around of your adventuring and your building of a guild hall, uh, and they uh, don't have any records." of your establishment here in Asari. Uh, so this gentleman, uh, he was just coming here to actually um, <clears throat> just, you know, let me inform me of his, his, uh, his duties. And uh, he was asking uh, where he could locate the uh, owners of the guild hall. And, well, by happenstance, uh, you walked right through the door. So he's like, uh, I, I suppose the only thing that um, needs to be taken care of before uh, you leave is just some paperwork, <laughs> really, uh, just to make yourselves official. Otherwise, unfortunately, we're going to have to shut down the guild hall if you're not licensed properly. <clears throat> but all do we need to get licensed? Uh, the, the, uh, the other elf, uh, by the way, chat, if you want to give him a name, feel free to give this guy a name. Uh, the, the other elf, uh, he says, well, uh, Dean, 
Establishing a guild uh, truly isn't uh, all that difficult. Uh, we will just need a name uh, for your specific uh, guild hall, guild adventuring party, uh, however you like to see it. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's the new guardians uh, of um, <clears throat> uh, Aelin, which is, you know, a fairly well-known group. Um, there was um, the Band of the Hawk, uh, the Band of the Falcon, Band of the Eagle. Uh, they're all a group, um, but, you know, various establishments, different teams within uh, the same. Oh, okay, what, 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 do we, what do we need to do here? You're, you're, you're killing me. <clears throat> oh, yeah, sorry. Um, uh, the, the quick version, yes. Uh, we'll need a name uh, for your establishment. Uh, you will also need to pay for a registration fee, licensing costs. <laughs> um, Ooh, how much is this registration fee? Uh, well, I mean, for adventurers such as yourselves, uh, I don't think it will be that uh, it's a mere drop in the bucket of a thousand gold pieces. <clears throat> I look over it. <laughs> look oh, and over. of course, and of course, a ten percent, uh, ten percent of your yearly earnings. Um, you know, well, what happened? Our 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 thing is all messed up. Uh, uh I think had DC and back in it. Yeah. yeah Chad, come back to us. Ha <laughs> character I... upgrade. I'm now Jobus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um I look over at tail and I'm like, bro, they want a thousand gold. I'm going to look back to him and whisper, not fucking happening. <laughs> And I've, I just point, I, I've been I learning point my way. nose is like a, I like me and you are on the same page. Yeah. Okay. I think what I got what else do we need besides the thousand gold? Uh, no. Uh, problem solved. Bureaucrat goes into Jobus's cell. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> so, Bosnick bubble thump apparently, or bumble thump. Uh, I I like it. So, Bosnick Bumblethump. <laughs> I actually read that as Bible Thump. I don't know why. <laughs> Can we make him look like an elf <laughs> okay. that looks like Borat? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I wave. <laughs> I, I think it would be difficult as el male elves don't typically have facial hair. <laughs> so, Recessive gene. <laughs> <laughs> question, question to the uh, game master here. Uh, why on earth would they deserve 10% of our earnings? What are they doing for us? Uh, well, you know, if you need like any like specific supplies and that, it's like a, you know. You mean like a... acquisitions officer that we already have? It's a membership <sighs> fee. It's a tax. Yeah, but... It's called it's, We taxes. won't break your kneecaps. <laughs> Tax. <laughs> Negotiate it down to 2% and be happy. <laughs> so, no, how we're about gonna, look, we're they gonna work pay it out. Let him, finish, let him finish his spiel and then we'll work, We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a. Uh... Yeah, it's. Because right now, I think the only thing he's getting is dog shit in a bag that's flaming on his porch. Yeah, he he. Uh, it's it's a thousand gold for the uh, initial registration, and then, uh, ooh, roll with advantage five e rating with a party of twelve. Welcome in everybody. Uh, you've come in at a very riveting time of our season uh, premiere of season two. We're talking taxes and guild registration, <laughs> 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 negotiating. Uh, so our, here we'll our... kick it up a notch. I cast. Tasha's hideous laughter onto the elf and tell him we will not give you a damn cent. <laughs> uh, is, is that canon? Because we can make this canon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, <laughs> this is canon. This is, this is uh, happening, apparently. This is happening. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, Mayor uh, Moody Batum, uh, who happens to be uh, here, I'll, I'll show this character off again for the the new <laughs> the new folks this is the mayor uh this is the mayor of their town uh he he may look a little bit like bill murray uh <laughs> don't say you don't say that 
<laughs> you rolled a 20. What the he, fuck? He, uh, well, you know, he's an What elf. the f In fact, I think. Um, is this a charm spell? Is Tasha's a charm? Because he may be immune to it anyway as an elf. <laughs> this is concentration. Oh, either this is way, he, he just, he says, um, yes, sir. Many people try to uh, avoid paying their dues and, and registration fees. Uh, I would ask you to please uh, politely refrain from casting spells upon my person. Uh, I will do the I will do you the same kindness in return. Uh, this is standard procedure of the Allied Nations of Firon. It happens here in Amirius, the Human Kingdom of Aelin, and the Dwarven Kingdom of Kebrak. This is just standard operating procedure. If you would like to continue running an official guild with a guild hall and amenities and subsidies from the government, this is just this is how this is what happens. I'll give you I... 250 gold in a dead body. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the dead body in your bag. <laughs> so, sir, if that is a threat. Uh, I will have you know that there are hundreds of guilds of able-bodied adventurers who can come here and deal with you. Should I? No, no, it's not a threat. I, I literally have a dead body here in this bag. Look, and, and Rowan pulls out the hand. He has the bag of holding on him, and he just pulls the hand out, like the it's arm. Just, the arm just comes is, out of the bag. <laughs> it's like, no, I have I have a dead body here. That is altogether disturbing, appalling, and disgusting. Um, I cannot, I will, I wouldn't, even if I could accept a dead body, I wouldn't on principle. Uh, but I, uh, be that as it may. Do you I know can't. how many cool things you can do with a dead body? Get out of here. I do, do I hesitate to <laughs> even venture a guess at what you would do. I'm not do talking best. about fucking it. Okay, let's let's just let's just fix this problem the only way we know how. Literally, there's just there's only one way to do this. <laughs> yes, there's one way to do. You pay the one thousand gold registration fee, fill out this paperwork, uh, and I'll be on history. my way. <laughs> I would like to. Uh, I don't see I why like this is becoming such a big thing. Him. This is the law. <laughs> I, I would like to filibuster him and uh, oh. get him to come back in a couple months. I don't know. My barbarian just rolled initiative. I'm, We're I'm, a sovereign like, peninsula. Like, I'm down, maybe I'm down to clown. I'm not sure. I'm feeling like a sovereign. I'm feeling like a sovereign <laughs> citizen right now. He uh, he uh, turns to you, Tail. He says, uh, you "Dirty elf, you're not treading on me." He turns. To, he, says, he turns to you, Tail. He says, "Fine, if you wish for me." Uh, to come back, I I will return in a a fortnight. Uh, mm -hmm. I will expect payment in full, and if not, I will bring with me a contingent of fighters and guards that will then occupy your guild hall and remove you from the present premises until such time as these things are taken care Look of. Look, you high elf bitch. We run motherfucking deep. There's no need for racism, sir. I'm half elf. I can say that. Um, but, uh, so he just wants what if, ten percent. Uh, I mean, yeah, ten percent of what? What? Ten percent of what we make and a thousand gold right now? No. Do we have no, to no, tell no, him that? I mean, it's not like he has like a camera on us at all times. We'd be like, yeah, we made. Here's your cut. I don't know. Just easy. We could lie to him. You know what? We'll do it like like U.S. finance. Everything was an expense for the guild. Unfortunately, exactly. we didn't make any money this year. Sorry. Actually, we lost money. Would you pay us, please? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you pay us? We need. I'm just need saying it doesn't have. We don't pay. have to. I'm fight assuming that table top, so I won't use the elves' voice. I mean, things like the purchase and building of the guild hall. Like again, this is boring shit. I didn't expect to get into during the game. Uh, but that shit is technically a write-off. Like, you can do that. Like, there is a way to, like, reduce the amount. When was the, the last time about, you took the mundane our... stuff and that wasn't what we turned into a fucking shit show? I mean, that's Don't true. we get a press a digitation stimulus package? We can pay, we can pay with <laughs> that. Yeah, it was only 600 gold. Guys, so. guys, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this out loud. This is, like, happening. I was like, 
guys, if we take care of the Sarconi, Sarconi problem, I think we should have more than enough money to give this asshole whatever he wants. I'm not worried about it at all. We could literally lie. Like, I don't give uh, a fuck. Yes, sir. This... We'll take your whatever. I thought it was just the at two the of them. mention <laughs> of Don Zarconi, he, uh, this guy gets, well, like, still noticeably, like... I don't know what mood to put on it. I don't want to say agitated, because he's not, like, aggressive, but, like, he definitely reacts. Yeah, he gets, like, uncomfortable, like, at the mention of Don Zarconi. Can um, I notice that? Oh, yeah, yeah visibly, like... He's like, oh, he, uh, Zarco what Zarconi problem, uh, are you speaking of? Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go kill Zarconi. You're what now? Yeah, we're gonna go kill him. You're what? Does that what? cover our dues? You're going to go. <laughs> are you Commit okay with murder. that or, or <laughs> not okay with that? I'm not sure. We, we just want to oh, warn you in advance, we're about to commit a crime. <laughs> roll, roll, a, uh, roll a persuasion check for me. How about wisdom at disadvantage? I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my bardic on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a month since we played, so I'm looking at my character sheet looking for persuasion. There it is. There's oh. a reason I brought you along, Genie, because this would fail if I tried. <laughs> 17, you said you were going to use, did you, uh, I mean, you get to use Bardic afterwards before I tell you whether or not you succeed. I mean, do it. 17, I'm going to go ahead and use my Bardic. It's a, is it a six? It's a 1d6, uh, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. So yeah. the audience is always going to stay what at a fuck? d6 when they give it to you. <laughs> wow. Um, but your, yours, which you can't, unfortunately, I don't think Bards can use their own inspiration on themselves. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a 17 or 18, so, yeah. it's 18. I rolled 18. Uh, well, an 18 is just good enough. That is the number that I had in my head. Wow. Um, Thank he God I says, rolled the 18. Uh, he says to you, he says, well, I, um, I will overlook the fact that you just admitted uh, to planning a homicide in the city of Renea's Alenar. Um, mm, but given the fact that this uh, Zarconi uh, character is in Indeed, a crime lord. I do think that we can make an exception uh, here should you succeed. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the Don has his hands in many a pocket, including uh, the guilds of uh, Emirius. Uh, should you... Remove him from the picture. I do think we could make do without your ten percent yearly tax. I keep wanting to say tithe and not tax. That's why I paused oddly there. Uh, yes, yes. Should you should you succeed in your task? Uh, all we will require is the uh the registration. For your license. Deal. We'll shake hands. I put my hand out. He's probably not gonna shake it because he's an elf and he's an asshole, but um, no, he he shakes your hand, but he does uh, a very limp uh hand. Uh very much like um oh, who are those guys? Uh, I keep blanking on their name, but from Always Sunny. Um like <laughs> those like gross yeah. The fucking... <laughs> yeah, just very limp. And you kind of just like grab his fingers and shake his hand. He's like, I will consider it a deal. Um, you guys then uh proceed to fill out the the paperwork, uh, and stuff. But uh, what is uh the name? What are you guys naming this guild hall or your guild? I thought we already named it. No. You've never given me a name. <laughs> Can we call it the... Well, the tavern's definitely the Sassy Wench. It's uh... <laughs> the Sassy Wench. 
It's Dollywood. That's it, right there. I, 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 I recall <laughs> Reshi having a name for the place, and I just can't remember what Reshi said, oh, but did. Reshi oh. definitely yeah, mentioned <laughs> that Reshi had a name for the for the guild. Um, no much love machines? Hold on. The only thing I can think of is from a game, the Guild of Dungeoneering, but that doesn't really apply, but it's kind of funny. That's it. I love that game. It's, really it's so fun. Game. Yes. The, the voice is acting is amazing. Yeah, it is very fun. I almost that makes me so want to guild it. what is that guild called? Literally the guild of dungeoneering is what the game. <laughs> it's a oh, game. Look, yeah, someone but... who wants to get banned popped up in chat. Yeah, yeah I don't cool. have the ban hammer or I do it. There you go. Um, uh, um before this is used as the masters of murder fucking. <laughs> I, I want to say that we did name the guild at some point. It was some really convoluted name, like the guild of the guild of people who do things for money I and we did also too. Yeah. are okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Shit. Hardcore pornography. Wow, that's. Hardcore. I'm gonna veto that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah, no. that one. That one's bad. That's, that's bad. That is bad. Key hub that? and chill. That's it. <laughs> I always liked hot dogs and hallways. I do, I do recall like 30 <laughs> episodes ago, we named the was, guild right, something yeah. very, very like wordy and not practical at all. I thought San wrote it down. I'm not putting that on your lap, but I thought that you did. Um, no, I, I did not. I thought it was a humorous uh, Like the thing. guild, the guild of serious. extraordinary oh, okay. people who do things for money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, we'll we'll get back to you on that name. Um however, before we leave the mayor's office there, uh I would like to I would like to try and intimidate Bosnick as tail. <laughs> We're uh, already and, past the Yeah, no no no. Really uh, <laughs> the the wording that I'll go with, uh, uh, Mr. Bosnick, I would uh I oh, I would recommend was... against trying to Take our guild. It was. Um, I forget. Um, it was it was basically Sega, but not spelled correctly. It was the uh, super excellent, awesome adventuring guys. <laughs> is what that sounds right. Is what it was. I came up with that. Maybe we need to do yeah. a uh, what's yeah. it called? And Rowan, the yeah, Rowan back? named it. I'm looking it up in the um, have here the recaps. Super, super awesome, excellent adventuring guys. <laughs> yeah, be, which be I think very you could uh, careful. Folks. It. I think you could literally reword it to be the super awesome excellent guys of adventuring and then just shorten it to sega yeah sega <laughs> it's sega yeah sega i i would be very careful there is a mythical beast attacking rowan right now she's she's good she's fine we've come oh, to agreement that she will not oh, she will not maul me <laughs> yes oh I, I i used my animal here hold on i'll roll it i used my animal handling Rowan apparently just has a I rolled a 20 already. Yeah. I rolled yeah. a 20 in I'm animal he was handling. Crit I'm good. That one. Oh, our, wait, wait, hold on a second. Please give him the, the cloak of dogs. I just want to see it happen once. Just once. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, I may have planned on there being one available at my Knox shop if we get there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have to go deal with Don Zarconi first, so. Well, I mean, you have to go. I mean, they're both in the same city, so you don't necessarily have to deal with Darden Zarconi first. Um, no, Minoc is in uh, is in Raven's Blood Hollow. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Minoc's yeah. Magnificent Magicables is in. Renee's nope, Alenar. it is in Raven's Blood Hollow. Is it? And let it be Renee's noted, though, Alenar, I did roll a twenty have... in animal handling. So, yeah. Well, then who's in Renee's Alenar? <laughs> Calamar. Oh, right, Calamar's curious. They're both the same character, let's be honest. <laughs> They're like the don't, nurse Don't joys. fight with the wizard over the names of the magic shops. He fucking remembers. Okay? Let's, let's be fair. Those characters are basically nurse joys of this world. 
Yeah, you can just fuck it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could have, yeah, I literally <laughs> forgot that Calamar was even a character. I, th I literally thought it was Minot. Um, at any rate, uh, yeah, so you guys, uh, you, you establish yourselves as the super awesome, excellent guys of adventuring. Um, Love it. Licensing fee of a thousand gold out of the guild coffers and the, uh, whatever. His name was. We're, wait, uh, he, we're paying him? I thought he was ignoring it. If we could, yeah, I thought, phone. yeah. No, he said he, you agreed. You agreed to the. Oh, uh, thank you for the subscription, Jerome. Uh, you you agreed to not pay the ten percent tax. Someone gave. Oh, Jerome okay, yeah, no, that's even better. That's fine. I oh, I would not pay the ten percent tax. Gifter, ooh, gifted a sub. Nice, thank you. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, one time fee of a thousand gold, not bad, but ten percent from what we make, not cool. Uh yes, well, the f <laughs> roll an investigation check for me, oh Tail. Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got this. Um, supposedly, I'm good at these. I will. I will say you confirmed and agreed to the thing. <laughs> sign contracts. Uh, investigation twenty three. Uh, you notice in the fine print of the contract that you do have to renew your license every five years. Which oh, well, you know, that's fine. I don't think will really matter for the course of this campaign, or at least not this season for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's basically like, you know, subjects, you know, prices are subject to change, obviously, as inflation goes up and stuff, but. Yeah, you're you're killing you're taking taking care of the the mafia in Renee's L and R is you're basically gonna be able to waive that ten percent tax as they've had. So to let me get this right. Increase taxes because of the mob. Uh, We're saving them thousands of gold, and we only get that small of a break. Do you want to uh, pay 10,000, or not 10,000 gold a year, but do you want to pay 10% of your yearly earnings to these people? I swear Chad, to God, I, I hate everything that's happening right now. Can we, can we exit? I, yeah. Rowan exits the building. Yeah, no, we're good. We're moving goes on. back to the hall to just, to just start, to start planning our, our deception of Zarconi. Yeah, I feel like Chad forgets that you guys have gotten like yeah, we've gotten like sixty thousand gold in a couple of these. Like, doesn't mean we're just here to hand it out, right? But we when, don't have to pay him that now. Yeah, that ten percent of it, we don't have to. And you're only yeah, going to make more and more money as you adventure in a more difficult locations. <laughs> That's a good deal. We pay him a thousand gold, and they go away and never bother us again. Basically, yeah. Well, like a thousand um, gold every five. I would like to wow. uh, try. I'm trying to move along. Something. Um, I would. I would like to smith a fake of the uh, sword we were supposed to retrieve for Don. Let me make a replica of the sword. Yeah, like he doesn't have its magical um, capabilities or anything like that, but just like physically the same shape and size he would be expecting. Right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That easy enough um how what's the price of a long sword's like less than 50 gold so you can make that in probably a day <laughs> yep uh, the the forge and everything yeah i uh tail is ready to move tail tail is ready to go take care of this dawn problem uh, so yeah, you guys don't really need to prepare for this, like, adventure or anything. Uh, you guys are going to Renea Salinar, which is another city, so you don't have to, like, pack up on any kind of, like, you know, provisions for, you know, surviving the wilderness. Um, you guys say goodbye, uh, to Damu and Sift and, uh, uh, fucking Lewin. <laughs> And Fane, uh, 
who, by the way, Thane uh, is the sheriff of the town now. Uh, if you guys remember from season one, um, <clears throat> uh, old Flav Creations rogue character, he's actually like legitimately the sheriff and in charge of the guard now, um, but technically still part of the guild. Uh, Brock fucked off to the to the to a clan of uh druids in the a circle of druids, uh, in the forest, uh, sometime when you guys were out adventuring. And last but not least, you chain up Vilmar, shut the vault door, and hop on a boat to head over to Renea Salinar. <clears throat> Uh, when you arrive in Renea Salinar, um, I, I guess I gotta always ask. I always gotta ask. Rowan, are you Rowan? Or are you in disguise? I'm Rowan. You don't want to be Mr. Lamborghini? I just want to be Rowan. Okay. All life is despair. I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh man wow no barrio matali no floppy day i feel like his his uh his no, freaking concert no posters just yeti. say like god is dead come see me play <laughs> <laughs> yeah god is dead please continue to enjoy my yeah, this whole cobain kurt thing going on yeah, can't Sounds swap the beginning sounds of those words, can you? <laughs> That's just the same name. <laughs> uh, so you guys enter in uh, the city, uh, just like in every kind of city, you you know, you're asked uh, customs like what you're doing in town, how long you're gonna stay, all that kind of stuff, so they can kind of keep track of who's coming and going. Um. <clears throat> And uh, you guys, uh, I was going to say, it doesn't really matter whether or not Rowan gives a fake name or not, uh, as <laughs> Don Zarkoni and his coalition of mobsters are fully well aware um, of who most of you are. Like, you all, like, met him uh, last season when you guys went to take care of this uh, problem in the first place. <laughs> That is a strange filter, Chad. Um, and literally that night um, that uh, you guys are in town um, staying at one of the very strange taverns. Um, oh, it's for sure Pollock's Pulse. You going back to, for going back to po Pollock's Pulse? Well, we won't go to the glass slipper again. Last time it tried to kill us. That's true. I mean, but you destroyed it. You it turned it back into just a nice little old lady's house. Um, and uh, the oh, what was I forget which I forget the name of the the wasn't uh, there a goat place? Yeah, I was gonna say I forget the name of the the goat tavern. Um, the goat's got, dead. Maybe they rebranded. Yeah, we got Godfathered there. Yeah. You, did get godfathered there um but uh so you're saying that you're saying at pollock's polls and um you're you know you're availing yourselves of the entertainment and at one point you see um because it's, it's not very subtle <laughs> but at one point you see one of the uh the male dancers up on the uh the pole you know he's like spinning around and stuff he like sees some uh people come into the to the establishment and you see him do that thing where he's like motioning with his head like they're over there like those guys over over there <laughs> you know uh clearly like indicating your table you're like why is he twitching his head at us uh and you realize uh that there are a bunch of uh elves uh with greased back hair nice kind of suits uh walking over to you guys <clears throat> they uh they they look over at you and they say 
I don't think, uh, I don't know, Billy. It's like, what's that, Tony? So I don't think, uh, I don't think he looks good with black hair. That's all I'm saying. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure I like this, uh, this new look. Uh, I much preferred the glittery sequin suit that you had last time we saw you, Rowan. I'm going in disguise. <laughs> I liked it more when you kept your f***ing mouth shut. Come on, Rowan. We're old friends. There's no reason to, to use that kind of language. You don't know what I've seen. You don't know what I've felt. You don't know me. You know the old Rowan. Not the new one. The dark one. How many of them are are there? Is there like two or three? Oh, uh, there's like two that were like sort of talking to each other, but there's like four in total. Kind of like the other the other two that like haven't talked yet are just like sort of big like muscle. Big big and muscular for elves. They are just elves. <laughs> not like not like Goliaths or anything. I'm getting a like a strong uh Stiller Ben vibe oh from uh Thunder Tropic here with uh Rowan's new <laughs> persona. <laughs> I've been called eight things tonight. I I'm, I'm giving off different vibes to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is um but um we heard you were back in town which uh if you were to show your face around here again uh without the package for the boss you know what that means right rowan look we've got this we've we, we we've got the sword all right and 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 we've got we've got the the the, the, the the person attached to the sword. All right. Just where is Don? I love you guys. Look, we've had lots of good times, but I, I just don't have patience for this anymore. Where's, where's Don? Well, the Don is currently, uh, indisposed tonight. Well, okay. then we'll come back when the Don isn't indisposed. We were sent here to let you know that, he requests your presence at his club tomorrow night. Bring the sword and bring the girl. If not, it'll be your pretty little hands, Rowan. Don't worry, I'm keeping my hands. And I honestly, I would probably suggest you not show up. You know, as us just, you know, friendly, friendly banter, you know, buddies who go way back. Uh, I want to press the digitation under the table to make the air in front of these guys smell like fart. Because it's, <laughs> it's the meanest thing Tail can think of doing right now that is not actually hostile. <laughs> just to make them go away. Yeah. <laughs> The, the shorter of the two that we're talking of a bit, he's kind of sniffs. Uh, he's like, he's like, and um, m make sure to to lay off the broccoli and beef soup before coming <laughs> tomorrow night. And then he uh he like snaps his fingers and like you know says, "All right, boys, let's get out of here." <clears throat> and uh, as they're like as they're walking out, um. You hear you you hear him kind of shout over the music at the bartender. Um, he says, "Sven, rent's due next week, buddy. Just remember." <clears throat> and then they leave the bar. Man, it's really sad they're gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> God, I, I told them not to come. This is so hostile. Like, I, I told them not to come. <laughs> I was on the, let's talk to him, and you're on the, no, we're going to fucking kill him. Just take their heads off at That's the door. Sorry. Mm -mm. Um, so you guys uh, you spend the night uh, hanging out Pollock's Poles, 
watching all the the men dance in their glittery thongs and tasseled cowboy boots and little good night tasseled nipple uh, pasties and I'm sure it's not participate in this i mean why not what are you, what's what's wrong what's wrong Hedgehog? you're not a paladin you don't get to be a fruit no you're fine <laughs> it's too much of a culture shock for him <laughs> culture shock are we, probably wasn't so we're, we're staying here for the ball. night right we're gonna wait till tomorrow uh yeah yeah you guys have basically 24 hours to uh prepare do whatever you guys need to do before heading over uh to um the uh don zarconi's club so they want the girl though and we don't have the girl so what's That's the true. you don't have the girl we're just gonna walk in with the sword and start killing people i mean let's put uh let's put tails in a dress why do we not have the girl where is she? But she she went north to start Delmar seeking north, yeah. the Save her cousin. Night. So when this we got back, we didn't even try problem, to talk guys. her into resolving it with her there. I, I have a solution. It's fine. This literally is not what a the problem. F <laughs> okay, I'll do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's the solution, Tail? Put Chad on the main screen, please. <laughs> Um, I can just cast Minor Illusion. We can have an you illusion walk shit. in with us. As long as I don't notice my 5 o'clock shadow, we're good. Yeah, you look really hot. I love that. That's so <laughs> disturbing. That, uh, yeah, that does make I me appeared. uncomfortable. You just look like a teenage girl who was eating a lot of chocolate pudding. Yeah. It looks oh really my good. god. <laughs> I think the most disturbing part about it is the forehead coming through the hat at the top. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so we got 24 hours. Is there some, anything we want to do before then? Yeah, you, you like supply anything. I mean, you guys have like a boatload of potions and scrolls and stuff, so you might not need. Uh, do you guys want to uh, stop by my knock or anything like that? I don't want to make a huge scene of it, but I would like to go to the uh, Mages College and see uh, if they need anything. But that's a separate thing. Well, let's let's handle. I say that's something we handle after my uh, after um the Zarconi stuff. Then, huh? Yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. I'm just okay. while we're in. Town. So let's. I say we all rest up tonight. We take a table break. Uh, yes, it would be fantastic. It's, uh, I and then, like uh, and then we come back and we figure out how we handle this Zarconi thing. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to put Quothe in her dress. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the most clothes he's had on all season. Um, well, I was just going to say, like, I'm going to need uh, a, a, another week to actually set up maps and, like, make the, the encounter and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> Well, I was just going to say, like, if you guys wanted to, like, actually discuss a plan, we will just, uh, we can end a little early tonight. Oh, I didn't expect that you guys were just going to fuck off and go immediately murder this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, like, because Sangretti was talking about wanting to go talk to Minoc and stuff, and I was under the... I'd forgotten he was in Raven's blood. I thought that was going to happen this session, but apparently not. And with all the artwork and stuff that I was doing, I may not have made a map. I mean, if you guys want, I can cobble together. We can take a quick, we can take a break and we can cobble together something up real fast. But it just Let's may not that. be as entertaining as it could be if we if I spent a week preparing it for this. Okay, all right. That's all I'm saying. Let's Let's take a break, and then we'll, 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 we'll it, while we're taking the break, we'll figure things out. All right, sounds good to me. Um, but um, all right, let me do. We'll, we're not gonna play uh the ads or anything. I'll just to ERB screen. And we'll be back in a couple Burp. of minutes. We're back. I was I was preparing a map. Thing things were happening. Okay. I was, called I called our I called our our dungeon master a f of. 
That's true. And then he replied saying that he was a and I said, well, that was maybe a little harsh. I stand by. He said, we love you, man, and give hugs. And... I stand by what I said. Mm -mm. I do agree, though, that he is a. That's true. Yeah, you know, I, I, I only spent, you know, like 40 hours in the last three days working on this new art for you guys, but. It should have been. It should have been forty-five. You. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I. You know. You're not wrong. Uh. But okay. <laughs> um. We uh we we have crossed the Celestine Bay. We're in Reneas Alinar. You guys have spent the night in Pollock's Poles. Uh, with a meeting. Uh, this evening with Don Zarconi to turn over Amriel and the sword. Um, it is morning time. Uh, Quothe gets his stay paid for again by a bunch of hunky dudes who uh, <laughs> probably spent the night in his room. <laughs> so many hunky dudes. All the Tail's going to go to wake up. Uh... N n noisy hunky dudes, by the way. Yeah. They just installed a revolving door. For his oh, God. <laughs> Cowboy hat, a belt, and a pair of boots. That's all I got on this one. You don't hang a sock on that door. It just, it just happens. I was going to say, I go to wake him up, and the door is sticky. And then, you know what? The revolving door is even worse. Well, if you remember the last you've time touched, you guys were here. It's too late. Here. You've touched the sticky door. If you guys yeah. remember the first time you were here, I did describe this place as having carpets that were always slightly damp. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, you have a day to prepare. You're supposed to meet with Don Zarconi tonight. <clears throat> um, and, uh, should you not need to prepare anything, we can head over to Don Zarconi right now. I'm ready. To We've done a rest. Ass. Everybody's got their shit straight. Yeah. S Song of healing and all that other nonsense. Yeah, Tails is gonna do. I actually, don't think I have song of healing anymore. Like I don't. I don't. Yeah. I've got I don't have the song of all, rest or whatever. No, all bards have song of rest. Do I? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't have cutting words anymore. Oh, I don't have cutting words. You guys don't get in too much shit because I can't. I can't cutting words things anymore. <laughs> I'll just fly away. Uh, no big deal. You yeah, all can I'll, fuck I'll yourselves. You... I'm not helping you anymore. I think you'll be able to handle yourself there, uh, Rowan. Uh, there is definitely advantages to the particular bard college you belong to. I always handle myself. What are you talking about, little little lizard wizard? Oh, that was, I mean, <laughs> I, I I bump I bump him. I bump tails. Like not not like in a kind of like a like a. I don't like knock him the fuck over anything. I'm just kind of goofing with him. I'm he's like he's like a little brother at this point. I was gonna say, I hope you understand the dynamic. Is like you're the the bigger brother and <laughs> Reshi's the mom of the group. Bop. And did fucking... you change your bardic college did he or what? something? Mm -hmm, he's changed now. Yeah, so he's it's like a strip uh... club bard. Yeah, I'm a strip club bard. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. You, you basically you get you get murdered and then you barter for your life and then you come back from the dead. You do a lot of drugs and before I mean, you know it, the hair and all the arcanite. And... Before you know it, you're just like you're you're at the club and you're just like, all right, up next is Juicy J. <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys uh, had <laughs> you cut you. Sorry, Roan, you cut out there. You said juicy something, and then there was a bunch, a lot of. Then our imaginations just had to go wild there for yeah, a second. Yeah. And everybody was like, "Hmm, what was juicy about her?" It was <laughs> Janet. It was Janet. <laughs> I, you you gotta figure out your 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 thing where it automatically cuts me off whenever I do things. Uh, you're peeking your microphone and you're cutting yourself off. <laughs> yeah. Well, not on my stream. I'm not on you. Maybe on yours. I think it's. Yeah, a, I think it's a setting in your Discord. Uh, like Discord, level. yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, at any rate, you guys travel over uh, to Don Zarconi's. You're fucking my bits uh, up. Place. I'm not fucking your bits. Dude, get your own sound straight. <laughs> <laughs> 40 hours! Um, <laughs> feel free to place yourselves uh, on, on the map here in the main room. Uh, you see that the club tonight has been closed down. Uh, it says on the front door, uh, reserved for a private party. Um, the uh, the bouncer, uh, who I forgot to put on the map, uh, let's just say that this guy's he's the bouncer now. Uh, he lets you in because you know you guys are supposed to be there. You are the can... you are the private party. <laughs> Before we go in, uh, can I go into like the side alley where I believe I'm hidden and then cast my uh, scroll of minor illusion to make a um, kind of like hands bound being dragged with? Uh, no, that's not how minor illusion works. You can't minor illusion hurry. doesn't move. Oh, minor illusion doesn't move. Yeah, it's major <laughs> that you can make move. Yeah, yeah never mind. Never so cast you could cast illusion. it and she would just be standing there frozen, not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, no, that's Minor, that's minor fine. illusion is completely still and stationary. And makes no sound. Yeah. No, I, I just haven't used it in a while. So my brain was just like, yeah, this is how it'll go. No. So I that's before cool. we do go in, I'm gonna use Tales from Beyond. I'm gonna use one of my Bardic. Oh, nice. Nice. I dig it. What does Tales from the Beyond do? Uh so Tales from Wild Surging already. You're not in combat. Well, yet. Just just getting ready. <laughs> You, all right, you rage and then lose it. That's one of your rage. <laughs> fastest minute ever. So, so it doesn't last for a minute. It lasts only until unless you. It lasts for a minute as long as you get attacked or attack somebody. If you don't attack or get attacked, you lose it within six seconds. But I was being polite and waiting before I just charged in. <laughs> I got a little clock uh, on it. I'm at like 24 seconds right now. So whenever, whenever, <laughs> so I. When I died, I I made a connection with the afterlife, um, and I now can I I, I get these weird visions, and uh, yes, yes, they flood they they basically flood stories into my into my mind, uh, That's and true. I can take these stories and I can tell them and channel, uh, certain things into this realm. It's true. Um, so, so I want to reveal yeah. a little bit of a twist uh, for you, Rowan. When you bought your way back from the dead, you used a little magical <laughs> coin that was wrapped up in a parchment with a list of like five or six taverns on it. Uh, all from around. It was the definitely area. not just a generic coin of gold. Correct. <laughs> no, it was definitely a magical coin. Okay, well, let's just specify that because yes. apparently some people, I'm not going to name names, will say, maybe <laughs> just assume that you can just give random fucking money to people no, when no, you this... die and you just get to come back. No, this coin was found, you found it in Drazan's treasure hoard. Uh, it was part of Drazan's treasure hoard. It was in like a little like box. And it was wrapped in a parchment with a list of five or so tavern names uh, on it. Um, I guess I should also mention, so it, we'll get there. Um, so, Rowan, uh, those lists of ta that list of taverns were a couple taverns here in Renea Salinar, a couple taverns in Tristiel Aran, and uh, one or two taverns in another city in the area that uh, we have not yet been to. Uh, and does not have a name yet. Uh, but it, on the map, there's a city and a crater, like to to the north and on the west, kind of near the mountain range. Uh, so these are t these are literal, like actual places. Um, the uh, the the devilish goat tavern again. I forget the actual name of the tavern. That was one of them. Uh, one of you guys didn't go check it out. Uh, but had you gone to check out the the tavern where that goat was where you guys got godfathered last season uh it has since burned down you know that is so ironic because if you go back to the vod 
It's literally Rowan flipping a copper piece to fucking death and giving him a list of all the taverns he has to burn down because he owes money. <laughs> and then here we are. I didn't I didn't do that. <laughs> that's that's Look, not I didn't know what, it was just a list. <laughs> you it was did, just a list. You did hand him a golden coin, magical golden coin, and you handed oh, him this list great. of taverns and he held them up and they did catch on fire and burn away. As he I maybe you, had had a few drinks at the pub. I'm not going to you, confirm or deny that I may have had a sizable tab. You, you did. Uh, so as you go to tell the story of a hero, uh, you rolled a six on this. You speak the tale um, of an epic hero. Uh, you choose a creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The target gains temporary hit points equal to the roll of your bardic inspiration die, uh, plus your bardic level. Uh, while these temporary hit, uh, while it has these temporary hit points, uh, the target's walking speed also increases by 10 feet. So as you choose a person to do that, I will let you know, when you conjure this spirit, you flash into... Uh, and this, I think this is like the... First time you've actually done this. I mean, definitely in the game, uh, in our, you know, on stream and stuff. Uh, this, I'm going to say canonically, is the first time you've actually summoned a spirit like this to tell a story. Uh, yes. You get a flash of a burning tavern. It is the, um, it is a tavern in uh, Tristy Eleron. And people, like, door gets barricaded by a falling ceiling beam. And there is just a tavern full of people who die in a fire. It dawns on you, Rowan, in this moment, as you are summoning tales of the spirits. There may have been a couple dozen people that died so that you could live. Do I have to tell the story of the hero now? Uh, yeah. So there's a hero um who who did some good deeds some great deeds it was considered a hero uh um, right. who died in a tavern fire so that you could live and uh now you're telling the story no one else needs to see the spirit or anything but a shrieking burning hero god has damn it shown himself to you <laughs> Uh, All right, I, and is like I'm yelling at you. He's like, "This is my life. This is what you took so that you could live." And you get to tell this his story. Okay, now I don't want to break the ambience <clears throat> of this whole but you're situation here. So go ahead. <laughs> but I, well, I'm new to season two, and I've seen a little bit of season one, oh and this God. looks a lot like a barbarian we had in season one. Looks a lot like a barbarian you had in season one. Yeah. <laughs> This is one hell of a roll table. Wild soulish. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Some copyright on French right here. Hey, take that up with Wizard I don't know what ghost. the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear the story of this burning. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's hear the story let's of this smarter. hero. What's the story? Of <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story <laughs> about a hero <laughs> named Jonathan McCain, who was caught up in a terrorist takeover of a skyscraper while visiting his. I heard Ed McMahon in a skyscraper in an iceberg. Did it, I heard did John it, McCain is it, in a skyscraper. John McCain? <laughs> Jonathan McCain and Am a I cutting terrorist out? plot to yeah, destroy a skyscraper. Out. Yeah, you're peeking oh. out. With an iceberg? Oh, Look, I turned my microphone down and everything. <laughs> Let me, uh, it's, it's Jonathan, Jonathan Mc McCain. <laughs> look, the story... Uh, look, look. There was, a, there was a terrorist takeover in a skyscraper, and he was visiting his strange wife, and he had to climb through, through air ducts, and there was... Uh, Santax Claus was there. The, the, I think the, I'm going to wait for the audio scroll. The terrorists, they maybe had been like Swedish or I don't know where they were from. I'm just, I'm just seeing this off. 
but it's, in the uh, end, yeah, the skyscraper was called Hashimaki Plaza, I believe. Hashimaki Plaza, <laughs> and then he and then he said Yippee Kaye, mother. Oh, I know this one. And then yeah. he jumped out, and they blew up and saved the. That's the hero. Yeah. Yeah, this the happened during uh, what was it called? What what's Christmas in uh? Welcome to the Knock'em. party, pal. <laughs> Yeah, happened during Knock'em. Knock'em. This, this yeah, is knock a em. very hard die story. He didn't. He didn't hard die though, because he eventually ended up in the tavern, and then he died there. Thank you, thank you, Jonathan <laughs> McCain. Well, now you're like twice as loud as you normally are. <laughs> well, look, I, <laughs> I don't know anymore. He's an audio wizard. I turned so, everything down to try to get that to work. So who are you who who are you doing the um who are you giving the uh the, the temporary HP to? Well I was gonna give it to Quilthay, but he started talking a lot of shit there. <laughs> give, it pages, give it to pages. Give it to pages. So it's definitely going to Reshi. Oh my <laughs> god. All right. Uh Reshi, Reshi you um let's see. S- you rolled a six. Plus your bardic level of eight. So what that's you get 14 temporary hit points and your speed increases by 10 feet while you have those temporary HP. So it only lasts for one round. And no. until you have until you don't have those temporary HP anymore. Okay. Um that right just there. means you have to take uh if you take a short rest, long rest, or you know, take damage and lose those HP. I got you. <sighs> Uh, so. Oops, I didn't mean to roll that. Sorry. Also, thank you. That ah, rolling it again. Huh? Trying to give it to more people. Um, but yeah. Because, wait, wait, wait. Uh, did you, was that? Did you roll the bardic inspiration die for me? No. It, yeah, it rolls on uh, that little number all the way at the bottom. See where you like the oh. one you just rolled is a one. That's the bardic. Like, have you ever seen the? Die. So if you okay. if you scroll up, the the one has a six at the bottom. Okay, so, I rolled a six. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's why it was the the hero. You roll a six. Yeah, right. if you ever see the wild soul table, it does that too. Yeah. Whatever. All right. They're different. <laughs> They're different. At any rate. Um I have to tell a story. You just you just blindly do things. Yeah. Dickhead. I blindly do Being them dickhead. in assless chaps. <laughs> anyway, Rowan and Quotha, you guys need to stick your characters on the map for me, please. And then, um you guys are sorry i was i was telling an amazing incredible story that's never been told before about a hero that apparently i accidentally (laughs) killed some other indirect way yeah Mm -hmm. yeah this is the worst (laughs) dd ever i hate this game i think he might have been a few days from retirement i'm not sure i i I hate dd a few days from retirement i got my social security check (laughs) i hate dd I liked your story. It loves you. Can we get can we get Gibson Mel story next? Oh my gosh. Look, I don't pick the stories. These stories come to me from the fucking ether, all right? <laughs> all right. Uh so you guys are like led led into uh this establishment. Uh the guy uh you guys notice uh the bouncer like closes the door and locks it behind you. Uh um, Don't like that. <clears throat> That's okay. I'll unlock it later. Oh, um, we move as a group in season two. Yeah, look, I'm moving. <laughs> Jeff's we doing this it. on the fly. Holy we cow. I'm proud of him. We gotta pick up here. production value. <laughs> Why it be like this? <laughs> so you go through the you go through the main room. That's not what I meant to hit, but guys, okay. Then you guys go into the to, to into the I'm rusty. Then you then you guys you guys make your way now into the VIP lounge. And then eventually, um, you guys are gonna make your way. In. I'm gonna put Rowan in here first. Um, That's a mistake. There's ten ads, by the way. <laughs> God, what did that remind me of, Jonas? I have a I'm solution just, to the ads. I'm just sticking you guys places, and then you finally are led down and into the uh, Don Zarconi's private. Uh, Private room in this establishment. Uh, <clears throat> I'll let you guys handle that. I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to do intimidation checks every uh, 20 seconds on each one of these guys. Have you crit kill okay. each one? Me too. Um, <laughs> so as you guys are brought in here, I'm kind of like, you know, stand along, uh, you know, the opposite side of the table from Don Zarconi. Um, he, uh, he like looks at you guys, like looks you up and down. And uh, he says, Rowan, friends, I can't help but notice that we're missing a certain guest for this soiree. What are you talking about? He says, Rowan, I know that your memory is shot from years and years of Arcanite abuse. I don't know what you're talking about. But surely when those golden fingers of yours are on the line, you would remember that our agreement to erase your debt and you to gain your freedom was that you were to bring to me the Azamar known as Amriel and the sword that she carried. She was dead. We found the sword, though. <clears throat> he says there are ways to bring people back from the dead that was a waste of time we brought the sword though what do you need she was dead do we don't do, look look that's not look that's not let's not get over like it's semantic look she was dead we, we brought the sword though he says you say you have the sword. He says, please hand the sword over to my right hand man. And uh, this. Is he on the left side? Is he on the left? Is he on the right? I don't know. Where, where is he? This guy steps forward. <clears throat> can, can one of you guys. So you hand him <laughs> the sword? Quote thing, quote thing, quote thing, what are you doing over there? Just out here hanging out with the boys while you guys handle you've business. Typed, you've typed, come at me, bro, in the, the, the map Well, chat. I That's... wanted you guys to be able to hear what I was saying out here. Well, technically you can't hear me because you're in the other room, oh, but, you know, we got a God. scrolling discussion piece in here. I'm going to hand the, the sword over to our, our newest friend. Uh, I, I still can't say your name. Uh, to hand to the man here. To Ray? Just call him Ray. To Mr. Ray, yeah. We have the sword on us, right? We have the sword, correct? Do we have the sword? Tail forged a non-magical replica of the sword. Wow. Sure. Because the gambit to fool the Thieves Guild in Raven's Blood Hollow works so well. Of course it's going to work well here. Look, you don't know. So... Ajahar, better than not having a sword. That's Ajahar, insane. the cobalt gives you a, a, a sword. <laughs> uh, okay. The the guy diagonally from you is holding his hands out, like waiting for you to give him the sword. Bend down. <laughs> Grab this. The, the <laughs> like you like and... bequeath him the sword. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. No, I've been down to pick it up from to tail because oh, tail's two been... feet and I'm like eight <laughs> feet tall. Don't you have a prehensile <laughs> tail? Pick it up with your tail. Yeah, there's like a six foot gap here. Is he just like <laughs> Jesus Christ? Take it from me. <laughs> so I pick it up and I hand it. I hand it and I give it to the guy. Give it to the guy. Mm -mm. Uh, you see the guy. Uh, step. Uh, he steps back. Uh, over to Don Zarconi, and uh, Z Zarconi just nods at him, uh, and he starts casting a spell. Uh, I'm going to counter spell. You counter spell. Uh, the spell fizzles out, and uh, Zarconi says, <laughs> "Well, that sort of." I didn't want it to go this way. But you just confirmed what I suspected when you showed up without Amriel. <clears throat> Boys, 
I think it's time that we give these folks a high elf exit. <clears throat> and they all pull out arcane Tommy guns. <laughs> Great. Roll for initiative. <laughs> I didn't even get to talk. It was like he started casting a spell and didn't say shit. That's rude. Yeah, you guys don't have any authority here. <laughs> He's a mob boss. You should let him do what he wants to do. Oh my god. Can I go with my first initiative shit? Uh, 23? No, 11. You wrote 11. I'll yeah. take the 23 <laughs> pass. Well, you you should go with your first roll. You you can't be a monk and not roll good initiatives. What do you? I yeah, like to great. see what y'all do. That's my thing. I well, like to you see what you wait. do, so I can clean it did, up. Uh, it did not add me to the initiative there. I'm a cleanup person. Look, Click look, on I'll, your token. I'll be going yes. first. Oh, I, I can see my nice little bubbles and everything. Why is it, it did it's not add weird. It, it doesn't. It's. I rolled a twenty-one. Five or one five, so I don't know why it's being. It says you wanted. Did you click on your token this. first on the map? Yes. Really? I mean, you added your own token to the map too, so like I don't know why yeah. it's not working. I don't understand. Yeah, twenty one fifteen is what I got. It didn't pick up mine either, so I don't know what was going on there. D twenty. Ad turn. Oh. Me and Rush worked fine. D twenty, you're you're like calling us up all the time, wanting to be like. Is it not like working? It's not doing mine show. either. But you can't get your shit straight. We can't. We look. We can't work with you if you're not going to get your stuff straight. Well, hold D twenty. Hey, he does not speak for me. <laughs> hey, there. Put me on there. You're the one who told me to sign up for sponsorship in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. You don't. Good luck. I don't recall that conversation. Well, actually, roll twenty probably would sponsor us. I mean, we what a year and a half into this, here in a few months. Like the only, the me. only the, look. We're too, we're too, we're way too cool. They're not gonna. We're too edgy. We talk, we talk about penises no. and things too much. <laughs> well, you gotta. Never mind. <clears throat> they don't want to talk. D and D doesn't have penises and 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 dicky. Look, I got this. It, it, I got this. I'll go into a chat call with them. Okay. We got your people. Okay. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Jobus has been so quiet. I know he has. It's hard to talk around that many teeth. It's like a fucking alligator, a golden alligator. Golden like alligator. I fucking, I regret, I regret being around these fucking idiots. Hey, 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 hey! I'm not one of those idiots. Thank you. Oh, Rachel, and Sandra, the only two I look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up his glass before he said that shit because he's like, I'm gonna take a sip after I fucking burn him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're conveniently in fireball range. You're convenient thinking about doing that too. Range. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> wow, they rolled the same initiative. Well, we're not gonna, we're just not that. We're same. screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> we're not screwed. <laughs> I'm making, we got I'm making one of those a six. <laughs> I don't want all that. And I literally gave them two initiative orders. So they wouldn't go the all at the same time. Yeah, if they all go at the same time, we're hosed. <clears throat> yeah. Move that down there. And all right. Rowan, you're first. You know, fittingly enough. Rowan, you're first in this combat scenario. Everybody's just going, trained I their gun on you. I immediately cast hypnotic uh, pattern. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> I agree with substance. We're like in a death fight here, and we got this beautiful fight. piano this, music. We got this. We got this. I put. It, I don't listen. I'm using epidemic sound. I don't hear music <laughs> at all. Yeah, uh, you'd have to have the music. stream on. Uh, it's just it's a thirty. It's the thirty foot cone. Yes. Which I think catches everybody directly in front of me. The song is almost over, people. <laughs> <laughs> Chill the fuck out. 
It's just cinematic fantasy. They don't have control <laughs> over battle music. And I, stuff. I I caught every I caught everybody in front of me. Right. Uh, yeah, it's a thirty foot a... cube. You should hit everyone. I thought it was a cone. Uh, description: cube. A thirty foot cube within foot range. Cube. Oh, cool. Then yeah, you're fine. You hit everybody. hit everybody. What do they have to roll? Get them. Um. The spell, uh, hold on, 30 cube, crystal filled, yada, 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 create a twisting pattern, 30 foot pattern. I don't see what it says where, uh, spell say 15. But what, what's the, is it wisdom, charisma? What are we looking at? Probably wisdom, right? Wisdom. Yeah. It, yeah it's, it's wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom saving. Okay. Sorry, yeah. this, um, this, uh, this dark reader thing is fucking my, uh. Don Zarconi gets a critical hit. Of course, well, why he turns it back at you. You take half damage. <laughs> 17, a 17, an 8, and a 16. Those are going to be my good rolls for tonight, and everything else is going to be. <laughs> and everything else is going to be fucked. Oh, hell, <laughs> literally almost the entire group. This, th th these thugs have so much wisdom. It's just astounding. Thugs are wise with Tommy guns. That's true. They have arcane Tommy guns. That is very wise to have an arcane Tommy gun. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Maybe it's because I have zero wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't I think of using a gun? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, you know this what? whole time we could have just been shooting bullets. You should have. <laughs> uh, so what was your save? Your save DC is a 15. So mm -hmm. only one person is uh, hypnotized. Hypnotized. Yeah. Uh, so they become charmed. I don't. What does charmed do? They see you as friendly um, and don't want to attack you. The, the spell says becomes what? charmed during the duration. While charmed, the spell the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Gotcha. So this guy's yeah, like, and well, if they take any damage, or shaken there. Yeah, the guy with the pink dot is just like, boss. Look, this guy. It rolling, you know, he's just trying his best. I don't see why we gotta, like, you know, fucking uh, give, give him the high elf goodbye or anything. Uh, <laughs> Zarconi says, uh, as it goes to his turn, he says, Well, I, you're gonna talk when I tell you to talk. Now is not the time for talking, now is the time for blasting. <laughs> And uh, he is going to, uh, he does have multi-attack. He is going to fire at Rowan with his arcane Tommy gun. He has three multi-attacks. Why so. is he super, like, Whoa. Well, I, haven't finished my, I haven't finished my turn. What the fuck? You just like. Yeah, you, you rolled on in there. <laughs> well, yeah, got... you got your bonus action and move. Six I'm minutes for the show. Everything. You just <laughs> Six <on>. minutes. <laughs> All right, bonus actions movement. What are you doing? I was going to move here. Opportunity attack. They have Tommy guns, all of them. <laughs> no. And I was going to you, you don't um, get to opportunity attack with a uh, range. I was going to use another 300 one meters. My, um, my bardics for um for tell from beyond. Okay. Cuz that's a that's a um a Three from beyond is a uh, is a bonus section. So you got an eight. Uh, let me just double check. So yeah. Uh, a... You yes. speak a dreadful tale of a slayer in the dark. The target yes. becomes invisible until the next turn, or until the creature, it's uh, or until it hits a creature with an attack. Can you bump your mic up like two or three percent? Just a little check, bit. Check. Yeah. Check. Can you so, hear me? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So this Man, one's I turned it down so I didn't peek out. I didn't want yeah. to cut out. This is uh this is the story of a rogue. The dark spirit. Yeah. A rogue who burned in a tavern. <laughs> what? No, a different tavern. They call him Dark Man. Which if you guys have never seen the original Dark Man, it's you hear awesome. Me without it peeking out. Yeah. Rorschach's better. Rorschach? I speak a tale of a guy named Leonardo da Vinci. And he liked to hide. He liked to take boobs and then hide them in places. And 
no one knew where the poops were at until you stepped in the poop. And then he would laugh at you. Was it poop? poop. I heard poop. boobs the whole time. Poop. Poop. Was poop. <laughs> this is a story, he, man. He takes the boobs and he hides the boobs. No, no, and boobs. then you step no, on the boobs. And boobs. I'm like, what? It's, it's feces. He would hide the feces. His name was Leonardo <laughs> Cravinci. And he would hide the feces and he would step in them and then he would laugh at you from the shadow. <laughs> and then, uh, and then he, he you, died a miserable you, death in a, in a... Who are you targeting with this role? I'm targeting myself. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can target yourself. With yeah, you can. You can target uh, yourself. Well, you better convince him. This will decide the whole rest of the season. You can, can you can target yourself. You better. I'm almost you sure. sure you cannot actually target yourself with bardic inspiration. It's not but, this inspiration though. It's the I'm using bardic inspiration to use the spell. <laughs> wow. It's this, consuming this new the, subclass the bullshit. <laughs> this new subclass bullshit. God damn it. Listen. Use DM on inspiration and maybe you'll win this. <laughs> I'm now invisible. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't mean to be the dick. Uh, you, you can use an action <laughs> to choose one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. This can be you. All right. <gasps> there Fair you enough. go. Rules lawyer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I just went invisible. to read it if you guys were trying to figure it out, you know? Now everything's fucking up on my computer because I tried to open that PDF. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God damn it. Literally just in my head. I will this... shit in places that will leave you confused. <laughs> that was the story this I got. Be, so the this wouldn't yeah. be an episode I think you of the Ozzard Tales thief. if I didn't have a bunch of anxiety throughout this entire episode. <laughs> Uh, Can we kick I'm it into like invisible. 30 minutes overtime? Is everyone like cool with an extra 30 minutes? Or I'm we... fine. I'm, I'm, I'm whatever fine happens that. tonight, we're going for it. Yeah, she so... doesn't have to pay the bills. She's okay. <laughs> Are you guys okay with you that? You turn invisible. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, whoops. You turn invisible whenever you attack somebody <laughs> from invisibility. Uh, you become not invisible anymore. Uh, so as long as you don't attack anybody, you remain invisible. But if you do attack somebody and you um, hit with that attack, uh, you you get to roll your bardic inspiration, which is a D8, and add that much necrotic damage to whatever you do to with an attack. Okay, it has to be an attack. If he misses the attack, does he still lose invisibility? He still loses invisibility, yeah. no matter if he hits or not. Oh, but if he for hits a second, with I thought he was going to be invisible all night. No, no. He has to, if he casts, if he does anything other than, like, move or open a door, like, that kind of stuff. If he takes, like, if he casts any spell, if he takes, if he attacks with any kind of weapon, uh, he will become not invisible anymore. And then, um... If he does make an attack, whether it's with a weapon or a spell attack that does damage, uh, it deals an extra D8 of necrotic damage. So you gotcha. can't, like, cast, like, Bless or something and deal damage. Like, it has to be, like, an actual attack spell or, like, a weapon attack to do the extra damage. But you only do that damage on that attack that removes your invisibility, according to the story that you've told, which you whispered to yourself. <laughs> While they um, theoretically stepped in poop poop from the yeah, story I told. That's fair. Um, so Von Zarconi um, is... Instead of shooting, now, are you Rowan, upset that you tried to skip my skip my turn? So now I've turned invisible and you can't do the fucking stupid thing that you were gonna try to do. No, I don't. Don Zarconi looks like he's just tired of everything. He's just staring <laughs> out the window. He's just like, I I don't know why I'm here anymore. No, I'm not. Like, a, I'm not upset. I only was moving along because I know we're on a <laughs> short time limit here, and I thought we were gonna be dicking around in a magic shop. So. <laughs> Uh, but that uh, that does mean that instead of Rowan being attacked, 
a couple of times. Uh, I'm going to attack uh, Azahar, Tail, and Reshi each once. Fine. Uh, Azahar, this is 17 to hit your 23 AC. I don't know how you stopped being a paladin and got a higher AC, but <laughs> God damn you for that. Uh, tail, uh, that's a 23 to hit you. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. I'm, I'm pretty sure that hits tail, and tail might like die here. 16 piercing. No, uh, it actually should 15. be force. It's force damage. It's an arcane zombie gun, so it's shooting me with force damage. Um, I just didn't change that in the stat block. I'm sorry. And then 17 to hit Reshi, which I think also hits Reshi. Just hits. Yep. Uh, it just hits you for 11 piercing damage, as this room, like Quothe Rowan. You see, like, a strobing of, like, magenta light as you hear, like, pew, 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 as this arcane Tommy gun just sprays, like, hip shot spraying your allies against the back wall of this room. Um, and from there, we go to tail. I am, uh... I am going to summon the Shadow Spirit at fourth level, because I can do that cool shit now. <clears throat> and then I want to launch uh, two Firebolts at uh, this guy up here. If I, well, it won't let me, it won't let me, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Because cantrip life. Wait, two Firebolts? I thought Firebolt just increased damage. Uh, it's 2d10. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's That's just, all. It's just a singular just, attack. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I was just making sure you meant Firebolt and not Eldritch Blast, because I don't know what spells you have. I would like to use my Bardic, because I don't think that's going to hit. All right. All right. Feel free to use your Bardic. Uh... Well, that hits. It definitely hits. <laughs> Ooh. The question is going to be whether or not tracking this from that. All right, good. It doesn't look like it subtracted it from all of the copies of this. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, and then you the, bloody that guy. <laughs> the shadow spirit is going to do the dreadful scream. Cool. Doesn't that hit everybody? Yeah, it does. Uh, Everyone must make a DC 15 wisdom. All right. Um, within 30 feet of it. That includes you, Rowan. One, yeah, two, I failed that one. Three, four, five. It doesn't do any damage. Seven. It just means you can't move towards the spirit. Can you oh, use your inspiration on it? Yeah, like you know, the monk who needs to move towards the enemies who are all around that thing. I got some. I got some stuff on my sleeve. You know that. <laughs> she could just choose to fight the other room. That's an option. I was thinking Boone of the Frozen Soul, but. Um, only two of the cult fanatics fail, and Don Zarconi also succeeds. All right, well, Don is uh, Don is gonna get whaled on. That guy's scared, and that guy is scared. Chilling Ren, an attack of 20 hits. Don Zarconi. Does the 18 also hit? Uh, the 18 does not hit. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's, that's my whole load, guys. That's everything I can do on well, that turn. Shit. Love it. And that brings us to the cult fanatics. 
Um, at the sound of combat, everyone in the whole facility is alerted that shit is going down. Um, and, uh, let's see. Nine. I'm just gonna murder you guys tonight. How about that? I mean, just, well, one, one episode season. I didn't uh, is that. Probably shouldn't have, like, <sighs> warned the guy because i'm just gonna let you guys know now he totally went back and said yeah they're planning to do some bullshit <laughs> god damn it when you told him not to be there he was like yeah this guy's warning me that he's planning on murdering people i thought we were friends dickhead yeah no he's loyal to the dawn not you we die first episode hey, look it, all we gotta do is kill the dawn and then they don't care it, it literally possibly might happen uh so we're gonna start off here um let's see one two three four five seven five um i'm gonna say this yellow the dotted yellow guy is gonna go with the three at the top of this room and the four in the private uh lounge first and then the other characters <laughs> go on the other initiative um but that means Let's see, there are four in this room. Um, two of them are going to attack Quothe. The other two are going to attack at a disadvantage at where they think Rowan is, because he just disappeared right in front of their eyes. Um, and then the uh, the other four are uh, each going to attack. Uh, let's see. Well, Tail, honestly, Tail's like kind of a threat right now. Uh, and the big dude looks intimidating. So two of them are going to attack Tail and two of them are going to attack um, the uh, Ajahar. So let's just start off here in the big, in the private lounge. Um, not even remotely threatened by the big fucking demon thing summoned in the middle of the room. Uh, they probably are, but it's like a ghostly shadowy thing and they don't think they can hit it. So they're going to go for the guy who summoned it and hope that it desummons when they kill you. <laughs> Damn. Uh, speaking of, they're going to shoot you first, Tail. Uh, a 17 and a critical hit. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take both of those. Yep. 11 piercing and, uh, 17 plus 13, 30. Is that, I think that knocks you out. It does not. It does. Oh, it doesn't. Holy shit. You've got some health this season. Uh, <laughs> now I'm just going to fireball them repeatedly. Their choice. Hey, fair enough. Uh, each uh, one of these guys, uh, the other two are going to attack you, Ajahar. A 19 and a 24. One actually hits. Holy crap. What the fuck? A 15 against you, Ajahar. Uh... Two then against. Instead of uh, force damage, though, right? What? It, it's force damage. You said it is force damage. Yes. Okay. Uh, arcing Tommy Gun at Quothe. Uh, thirteen and an eight. I think both of those miss. And then disadvantaged. Uh, arcing Tommy Guns at the spot where Rowan is because he's invisible. A nine and a twelve. I think both of those end up missing they miss as well. Uh, none of them are gonna move. Um, they're all, you know, they got guns or whatever. They're just gonna, they're just standing and firing. And Quothe, that turns, uh, to you. If you are interested, Quothe, uh, it was this guy and this guy who attacked you. <laughs> Quothe's always interested who attacks mm. <laughs> the, the, These two. I know you're standing right next to a guy, but he did not. He, he's fumbling with his, uh, with his Tommy gun right now. And he has not fired on you yet. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This guy closest to me. <clears throat> we're going to attack him with... Wait a minute here. Mm, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's rage. Mm -hmm. I clicked it once by accident. I'll click it again. We got a five. So a five looks like 
Uh, whenever a creature hits you with an attack roll before your rage ends, the creature takes 1d6 force damage as the magic lashes out in retribution. Nice. That's probably pretty good for this. It's still... Because it's happen. just an attack roll. It doesn't have to be yeah. melee. It can be ranged as well. Do I need to tell a story of some heroic magician to do that? No, because you're not... Okay. A Let's see here. Um... Okay, I'm going to attack this guy closest to me. And let me wow. think here. I'm sure yeah, I'm haven't... thinking. I do, but I'm guessing this guy's AT AC is at least 16. That'd be kind of a waste, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's just let that one pass and swing at me again. Hey, critical hit. Now I want to use one necrotic charge. Okay. Jeez. Was that a Christ. 1d6? Draw uh, a blank. Yes, yeah. It's, it's been three 1D6, weeks. But you critically hit, so it's doubled. Okay, so let's see what we got for him here. <laughs> you got a lot is what you got for him. Yeah. And then let's do a 1d12. What's the d12 for did she say the necrotic charge? He's, it's a 1d6 yeah, well, it's and he said double it? D, it's 2d6. Oh, two, sorry, 2d6. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is like a mist of blood. <laughs> uh, five. Okay, so we're at 23 plus 5 is 28, 29, 30. Do that right? Uh, I think maybe... Uh, 15, 20... I only read 28 there. Uh, well, do I get the two rage there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 30. It puts, yeah, 30 and then, yeah. I've... Or, no, I don't know why I then... read 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 2 is 8. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, 30. You... 29. No, it's actually 29, sorry. Uh... Well, no. 5 and 10 is 15. Another 5 is 20. You're right. Plus 10 is 30. You get, you got it right. I just, for some reason, my okay. brain didn't add... Act I said to myself plus 2, but I didn't actually plus... Can I use my polar and bonus on him? Uh, you can. Let's, I will let, uh, it, let's I will run let it go that... just because we're on a time sync. Otherwise, because you rage, which is a bonus action, you shouldn't. Technically, yeah. I'll let it run this time. I was just asking because I knew I couldn't, and I wanted to see what you'd say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm here all night. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, the, uh, I'm going to do the uh, Bardic. It's 1d6, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm sure that he has higher than 13 on that one. Okay, so he has an AC of 13. Uh, oh, he does? Wow. Yeah, he does. Okay. <laughs> oh, the night. Oh, fuck me. Okay, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have used it on the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me... Uh... Okay, so we're at 32. How much... I mean, how's how's he sitting? Wait a minute. Well, you have to roll your... Actually, roll your damage there, bud. Oh, my bad, my bad. You have to roll your damage there, bud. Uh, so that's uh 41 points of damage to this guy. Okay. Um, that's it. He's that's all I have kicking? for my attack. That's literally, that's literally all you can do. And yeah, you slice this dude almost in half. Uh, I was before you made the the bonus action. I was literally gonna make this guy roll a con save to see if he just outrightly died. Uh, because <laughs> he has just barely, uh, just a couple of HP above thirty. Uh, I was literally like, that is such a massive injury. Like, I was like, he might just go into shock or something. Uh, but you cut him open. He almost gets cut in half. And like, as he's like falling to his knees, holding his entrails inside of his gut, you just spin around, crack him in the temple with your, uh, with the back end of the, your scythe. And... He's at least knocked out, but with his severe injury, he's probably dead. Like, let's okay. be real. He's gonna I die. Wanna, 
I want to use my free object interaction, and I want to look at these two that shot at me, and I want to grab their beers off the table and put one up. You grab their Tommy guns, my god. And I just want to just the tip those two beers. Oh my god. Grab the Tommy guns, like, no, no. <laughs> no, we're here, we're here to send a Did message. Did I just hear that Tommy you're... guns, no. Did Let's I just hear beer. you're prison pocketing some beers? <laughs> no, no, oh, I'm no. teabagging those two beers. Oh. Oh. Because you cut out, you nuts. cut out right <laughs> when you said I'm gonna put them, and then I cut out, and I was like, "Is he putting these beers up his butt?" No, no, that was an officially uh, just the tip on those two beers that they were drinking earlier. Fair enough. Um, we're gonna unless you want to move someplace, which you can, uh, you can still do that. Uh, while well, you decide if you want to move anywhere, Reshi, it is your turn. Now, bear in mind, uh, you can't attack any of the people in the room that you're currently in because you're afraid of that ghost. Uh, so you cannot move closer to that ghost. Right. Um, but I can do my boon. You could do right? a... Cause... Uh, your boon. I already immediately forget what that is. <laughs> I'll post it. Uh, I remember the first one. You have immunity to cold and you can cast Thunder Wave. Uh, well, yeah, we're sorry. It is the effects of Thunder Wave, except it's cold damage instead of Thunder damage. Right. And it's um, the cube, right, that we talked about? I think it was. Yes, it is a cube. Okay. And it, it would happens... hit Big Boy and then the two at the bottom. Uh, well, it is a 15-foot cube that is adjacent to your square. Uh, so just so you're aware of exactly where it would be, it would be... Uh... Wait, hold on a sec. Where's my draw shape? Draw shape. Uh, the 15-foot cube would be right... Uh, like there-ish. Damn, because I wanted to hit him. Okay, Um, let me think again. Uh, while she's thinking about that, I didn't use my great, uh, great weapon fighting mastery. How would that have come into play while she's thinking about that? Because one or two on my crits, does it affect the AC check? Uh, no, it doesn't affect your armor class checks at all. It just, you can re-roll, uh, a one or two of the weapon dice damage roll okay gotcha yeah, damage roll a one or two on the damage roll. gotcha um, okay what about breath of the you rolled a dragon a five, five and a five i think or something you rolled a five and a seven for the weapons damage mm -hmm. i don't know okay, if that no, we'll no, have no, to check works. and see if that includes like any of Shit. magic that's included within because you did roll a two for the added necrotic to the scythe but not the actual slashing of the scythe not exactly sure how that works with magical stuff. Um, okay, so I'm thinking about Breath of the Dragon, and I want to hit yeah, Big Boy, okay. and then possibly the people in the bottom here. Okay. I posted it. So, right. Um, you're doing... Um, the armor of fear. What's that name? Oh, that's... that's freaking... Sorry. That's, that's I missed miss one, yeah. Um... Uh, channel can destructive waves uh either a 20 foot cone or a 30 foot line um so a 20 foot I'm um, coning by the way yeah Let's see if I can do that so a 20 a foot cone. cone is gonna go out 20 feet uh, probably something like that like mm -hmm. you could hit those people do it okay yeah i want to um and then what do i roll to do that uh well i think they uh they rolled dexterity against your key save dc which is uh eight plus two plus your wisdom i think uh, Wear tag. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> Welcome in. 
Um, our, our party is fighting some elf mafiosos right now who have arcane Tommy guns. Um, Cute. our new, uh, ascendant, our, our dragonborn monk changed subclasses. She's using an ascendant dragon monk now and is using one of her cool key point dragon breaths. Um, so yeah, double check your key stuff. Wisdom here. is three. Level is eight. This one's seven. So eight plus your proficiency plus wisdom mod. Okay, so your wisdom and your proficiency are three plus eight, so fourteen. Um, Don Zarconi, two of the cultists, Quothe and the Shadow Spirit. Um, I'm going to say that the cat is too short to be hit by this cone, even though technically he's <laughs> within the area. I will be nice to you, Tail. I will not murder your cat right now. Or I will not force Reshi to murder your cat right now. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Don Zarkoni is going to roll here. Uh, oh, God. Uh, of course he passes. Ah! Look, I got to... Look, these people got to murder The you. only person I wanted to hit. Uh, oops, they rolled with deck, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the, I'll take the. They weren't supposed to roll a disadvantage, but a six and a twelve. Uh, they're not gonna pass. So what is uh, you roll damage? And taking damage type equal to two rolls of your martial arts die on a failure, or half as much on a success. All right. Um. So that would be whatever your. <coughs> Like so, what just type put of damage is it? It's. I was gonna do acid, but. Acid, huh? acid breath. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so click your unarmed for me, like your monk armed unarmed, and then just roll uh damage twice. I think that's how that works. And it's like the easiest because I don't know off the top of my head what your thing is. So yeah, then just click the damage twice. So seven and eight. Cool. So fifteen. Uh, Don Zarconi is going to take seven of that. Uh, it does say it's... three rolls of her martial. It does. Sure. Did I read that wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading that at eleventh level. Sorry. Just... Never mind. She's not eleventh level. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nope. I was going to say. I mean, hey, cool. If it's three, <laughs> yeah, fine with me. <laughs> again, new subclass. I don't know. <laughs> I just, just hey, if it's actually three, then it's cool. If not, uh, the three rolls caught my eye. Then I backed up and saw the eleventh level. So, my bad. Uh, so you, that guy takes uh fifteen damage. Uh, he becomes as bloodied as one can be, with when their skin is melting with acid. Uh, and this dude just completely dies. He was already set on fire once. Uh, and now, like. He just, yeah, you like melt this dude's face and he dies. <laughs> I can deal with that. One less Tommy gun. I appreciate no. this. <laughs> I'd like to. Do I have bonus actions? Because I'd like to move in front of Tail. Uh, you cannot do that. You're no movement afraid. or anything? No, well, you can move, yeah. but you cannot move closer to the shadow spirit you're uh, afraid of okay. the shadow spirit and moving in front of him is moving five foot closer to the shadow spirit trying to take some damage for you tail i'm sorry yeah, you can game. actually uh it is your turn you can repeat the saving throw we you really re do a wisdom saving throw see at the end of each of your turn you can break the fear of that so oh what? okay i'm gonna do that does that hit nope. no you need to, okay no. there's sorry, only one decide. short one short and the 15. Uh, so you can still move, but you can't move uh, to the yeah, right no of where you are. Like you I can't have to move, move next to Belmar, or not Belmar. Now it's like you Ajahar. literally Ajahar. You should move here if you wanted, but you cannot move this way at all. Okay. I got a question about the structure of this room. Yeah. These are windows, right? Those are windows, yes. Is this one big window back here? Uh, no, there were doors there, actually, but I wanted it just to be a wall, so I put a wall over top. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move next to Azrahar. I'm sorry about that. I made and this map in five minutes. 
I love Don't you guys. Guys. I love I'm you. not gonna block the door if Tail can. Oh, that's the door I was standing I'm in front not of. Mad. Yeah, you were standing in front of a door. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't worry, guys. Back. I have my own way out. I'll, I'll be fine as long as they don't riddle me with bullets. <laughs> no, I'm not going to move. You're not going to move? All right. As no, because. Are, Sunray. Uh, everybody's getting in my way. There's all everybody's kinds of things for you to way. murder in the room behind us. All kinds of things to murder in this room, too. That's what Every I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, guys. did your shadow thing take... Do the dexterity thing, San? Yes, I did the damage. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I didn't... Oh, I do. I probably should make a chain uh, check to see if I take hole or not, huh? Sorry for that. I just... I wanted to try and hit the big guy, and I couldn't... Hey, you, yeah. you. So, it took any, the 15, anyway. Oh. Any help murdering your party members, I appreciate, Rachel. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, no. I, I get that. <clears throat> Did nobody make the save against the screen? Nope. Uh, the screen? Dreadful screen. Yeah, it doesn't appear that any of the party members in that room made the save. Yeah, no. Azure, I think Azure Heart failed too. Yeah. Yeah, I got, yeah. A, I got a knee. Um, I think some of the cultists that, yeah, all the, the two cultists with the yellow dots are afraid of him. Uh, everybody else is not. <laughs> I can't, though. It's like. Can't go. Can't, you can, well, like, like I said, there's a whole tavern of guys. Um, well, I know. It's like, uh, no, I'm trying to figure out if I, because I can, from the Helm of Brilliance, I was thinking about casting a fireball, but I can't do it in here because yeah, that would hit. No, I can't because I'm not going to kill Tail. <laughs> Where's my cursed great sword when I need no, it? No, you can do it. Uh, uh, you can definitely do it because the size of a fireball is, is not. Uh, you're a revisit season two. 20, radius of 20. Yeah. That's a wall, though. It hit the cast wall. Cast it on the wall. Cast it on the wall. <laughs> It's at a point in space which you can see, so you cast it on the wall. Like, even if you cast it on the surface of the wall. And I can defend against it. You don't got to worry about me. You're still not hitting. It's right in front of you. Yeah. It makes no difference to me if you killed the Shadow Spirit. It, it's there to take hits. It just hasn't done this job yet. <laughs> I mean, you are dealing with elves here. They they understand magic. They know that if someone summons something and you kill them, it's likely that that thing will go away. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably easier to kill a two-foot-tall kobold than a ghost with magic bullets. Okay, then I'll cast Fireball on the wall, and it is... Hell yeah. 8d6, right? Uh, well, yeah. yeah, but what's the saving throw? Uh, oh, is he a bright cheek flex? Uh, it should be 18 or 17 because it's from the Helm of Brilliance. Hmm. I got it. I'll look it up real quick. Thank you. Fireball. I will roll roll on. One, two, three from the cultists. I'm thinking. Uh, save of 18. There are two of the cultists. Yeah, there is 18. Okay. So it's a deck save for me? Yeah, must be 18 or higher. Hey, Don's our Cody fails. Failed. Yes. And it's uh, oh. what I say, 8d6, right? Yeah, it's 8d6. Yep. If you cast it at fourth level, you get an extra d6. Whoop de woo. Well, I can't. It's part of the helm, it's only third level. 8d6. Why is that 6 plus 1? What the hell is that? I was wondering that. Oh, he. Are you trying to add the ring of protection? It's already added. All you had to do is go to find it in the inventory and drop it into your inventory. It automatically adds it. Oh. I just added a global modifier of 1d1 to my global modifiers on saves. You, but you probably should put the ring in your inventory in case you. It is in my inventory. Yeah. Then it automatically applies it then. 
28's not a bad roll. And if it did, then you got it there. You can see it. Uh, 28's good. Uh, Three twos. That dude who's bloody is looking <sighs> mighty fucked up. That's for sure. Um, and this guy... Fuck it. Constitution save. 14. I think is a little is good enough. This guy is bloodied but super injured. Like he almost took again, he doesn't have much higher than 30 HP, so I figured Constitution save, but he got higher than a 10, so he stays awake and he still has his gun. Uh but these guys are starting to look a bit rough. Even Don Zarconi is starting to look a bit on the rough side. A bit on the rough side. No. Uh, any movement bonus action? Uh, did we say the shield was a bonus action? The throwing of it? Um, Do I need to adjust my health? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, you just took 28. Both, eh? And I took um, Stone's Endurance. Can I add that in? Well... I don't I... know Stone's Endurance. You want to click it so we can read it? It is. Oh, it's in man. there. It's a chat. I don't know Elder Knight well enough, but so you're using an object. You're casting a spell from your Helm of Brilliance. Yeah, the helmet. I just point with my and finger. And I know and how it. dual wielding works. Like, you can take your normal action to attack, do your extra attacks, and then you can, as a bonus action, offhand attack. Well, with war with match, the I have to... shield, but I don't know how that functionality works when casting a spell. Um, I'm going to say for now, yes, but I will do some research on that and see exactly how it should work. Because I don't know how that works when casting a spell from an item or just a spell in general. I know like war magic and stuff allows you to cast spells when your hands are full. But, no, uh, war magic is war magic is at the seventh level. You, I can cast a cantrip and still do a melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Oh, war well, it's a cantrip. That's not a cantrip, though. No, I know that's a cantrip. Yeah, that's true. This wasn't a cantrip. Yeah, it's, because it was from the item. Well, and it's fireball. It's a level three spell anyway. It's not. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Warcaster is the one where I can cast spells without having. Oh yeah, I was thinking. I think my hands. Warcaster, not War Magic. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I also forgot to. I didn't get around to making the actual stats for your shield. Um, but uh, I would say for right now, if you want to throw the shield as a bonus action against one target, you could make a, a an attack at one target with your shield. Yeah. Okay, I was just gonna just because you know it is it is a, a bit of a large group of people yeah I'll just gonna throw it at dawn that's all right the dawn Ooh. nice roll sir uh so 26 Come is on. definitely gonna hit the dawn <laughs> Mm, only eight uh, slashing eight damage. Though. Six, another fourteen off of him. He is. Uh, what was that? It's just the slashing damage because it, it's thrown. Remember, oh, I remember right, we right, talked right. about. Maybe it has a sharp edge. It does. That's <laughs> how you get the slashing. That's why yeah. it's slashing. I, there you go. The bludgeoning is if I hit some bash someone with it. Uh, but that bloodies him. <clears throat> nice. Um, and you guys would notice this. I throw the shield, it hits him, cuts him, and it then teleports right back to me. Boomerang shield, gotcha. I, 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 that's, that's cool as hell. And then the you edges are encrusted with tools. Huh? He, does he has a flail? Yeah, yeah he's got a flail and a shield. That's a great combo. Um, let's see. I wanted to get up and use the flail, but some scream. <laughs> 
Look, sometimes oh, you but... spawn a demon and it's angry and it screams. It's fine. Let me try my wisdom saving throw before I end my turn. We're about to get shot up, guys. No. We're okay. Shot up. No, we're not. No, we're not. Actually, we I have deflect missiles, so. It's okay. That's the end of my turn. Point oh has cutting words. Point. We're good. Can I use deflect missiles if I get shot, though, Jeff? Um. It is a ranged attack. Fortunately, if it's for... not on my turn. But yeah, but can she do that with? I don't magic know if missile? you can catch bullets. It's weird. Yeah. It well, says... it's basically magic missiles, and like this is bolts of force damage. It's not I, like I, a, I wouldn't be able a... to tell you, dude. <laughs> I'm not. I that posted good of a it. Lawyer. I posted I just... it. Yeah, because you have to catch an actual projectile, right? Like, and this is literally just magic. It's not. It's not a projectile. I don't think you can. Mm, I don't okay. think you can do like that thing with a fire bolt, for example. It's like arrows. Yeah, it would have to be an arrow stuff. or a rock or a sling or like a physical yeah. bullet. Or a, being yeah, an even a physical thing. bullet, but this is just magic. Because they're elves. Yeah. Yep. And my world has more arcane guns in it than it does actual black powder guns. I mean, David was the guy who invented black powder rifles. And I think he made one <laughs> for himself. Yeah. He made one for himself. Um, I mean... There's no need when there's magic, right? It's just inferior. Basically, yeah. Uh, now, two of these guys were in the room with Rowan when he turned invisible, and so they are going to make their attacks at Rowan at disadvantage. Uh, a 21 <laughs> instead of a 25, and a 20 instead of a 24. Jeez. Is season two the season when my luck changes, guys? Is this the season where I actually get to kill you guys? <laughs> like, actually get to and do some shit? you kill me. <laughs> we'll I still don't, be friends, I don't, I'm but... still invisible, right? You're still invisible, yeah. They just hit you. <laughs> they're shooting what wild. They're I basically take, uh, spraying the, the room. 21. And you took 21 points of damage, yes. Um, <clears throat> One of those other cultists had to um dash to get into the room uh which leaves three other cultists here and unfortunately for reshi she's standing right oops right in the doorway <clears throat> and they're you're the only person they can see right now you're standing right in the door so what how many people are attacking me three that's fine and you're getting shot in the back. <laughs> That's fine, you fuckers. Uh, whoops, I'm rolling a disadvantage. Uh, that crit fail did fit fail. That 10 is still a 10. Because it's on the left-hand side. I'll roll the last one legitimately. <laughs> and I got a critical. <laughs> of course, I turned it to not disadvantage and I get a crit. Um, you take 16 points of force damage, Dreshi. Um, And we're moving on to Genie Brush. I'm going to yell to Genie. Remember uh, when I started all this shit, guys? <laughs> can I yell uh, to Genie since it's his turn and tell him something? So I'm going to move here. Yeah, oh, thank God. God. Can, it. can I do that? Can I even yeah. though the, the, the ghost thingy here? Did you fail? He wasn't, mm -hmm. he wasn't in range. No, he, he, not, was, I didn't in, fail. he no, no. was exactly in range. No, I didn't fail, though. I didn't fail, though. Genie. Yeah. Can I yell at you in combat and tell you something? Yeah, yeah tell me in combat. Do you me. heed me? Okay, uh, can you stay 30, 35 feet at least away from all the enemies? But by the time you end your turn? Uh, I don't think it's idea? possible without me no. just jumping out of a window. <laughs> <laughs> the major I mean, clump of enemies. Let's just say if I was here. Let's just say in the middle of running to the door, I, I heard you yelling. Where would this put me? Let's see here. You're talking you can't major see through the door. Talking yeah. these guys here. 15, I'm at the 25. Door. There's, yeah, no, there's no I'm way I'm saying away. stay at least 35 feet away from this position. Oh, okay. Um, That was my original plan. <laughs> yeah, stay the fuck away from the I mean, murder I mob I still there. can't. I still can't. Like, even That's if okay. If you're behind the here, wall, I think you're safe. If I go here. Let's say I go here. Perfect. 
That's chairs, 35. That tables is, and chairs just clattering about, but no one is there to actually make you <laughs> like, mm. that is that is that is actually still 35. Can I do I have vision? Yeah, you can still see. You're can I see this group? Nobody else is. What group? Can I see this group? Uh, which group? Which group? This this group here. Can you you please use your? Uh, yes, from there you can. Yes, that's what I meant to do. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on. <laughs> from here, I can still see the group, right? Yes. As long as your class... arrow isn't getting cut off by the wall, you can see the people that I cast cloud of, daggers. cloud of daggers. Oh, that's cool. All right, cool. At level um level three. Ooh, nice. Pop that sucker up in the thing. I I want to do it right um right uh, in the middle of this group here. Right in the middle. It's like a five foot thing on each side. It's a right? five foot. Yeah, it's there a go, five buddy. foot on each side of the cube so it should hit this whole group right here yes yeah, should hit those five guys ah they make good burgers i wonder if they serve burgers <laughs> in this uh cloud of daggers is, uh, you, you fill the air with spinning daggers in a cube for five uh five feet on each side centered at the point you choose which is i wanted to choose that main point right there so um creature takes four 44 slashing oh, damage when it enters the spell oh, area. Oh, wait, it's supposed to say DC. Or starts its turn there. So when it becomes their turn, they'll take it again. Well, when it enters the area or starts its turn there, they're not entering the area when it's summoned on them. That's not how that works. What if they leave the area? It's not entering. Leaving is different. When you, when you cast it at third or higher, it's increased to 2d4 for each slot spell. Right. So you rolled a for, total for each of level nine, above seven. two. Yeah, you rolled seven plus nine, uh, sixteen damage, which they will take at the start of their turn. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that was your turn. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, you, I was going I to cast, say, uh, you also I need, I need have to... that necrotic damage for it. I have necro yeah, I do have necrotic damage. Does that spell damage does that it's count for this? Roll a d8. Yeah, roll a d8. That's an attack. That's a spell attack. So roll an extra d8. Ooh. You got an 8. So 8 plus 16 is 24. Bonus action or will you move? So bonus action? Bonus action is a uh, healing word on my buddy Tails. Hey, I'm not going to die immediately. <laughs> and you are no longer invisible since you cast a spell. <laughs> I know. I know I'm not. And that's eight. So, which is wonderful because now Don Zarconi is here. He's going to move over there so he can see you. Uh, it is Don Zarconi's turn and he is going to multi attack you three times with the, uh, cause that's how many attacks he gets. Okay. A 12, a 19 and a 13. God he hits damn. me with a 19. Tell me only one hits, yeah. Only one hits for nine force damage. Fuck. Fuck off. Look, you can get hit by one of them. It still fucking hurts. Right? No, I can't. Never mind. Uh, or is that nine... just me being a wizard? <laughs> it's just you being a wizard. Because mm -hmm. I was at 6 HP for a while there. It was not great. Look, <laughs> Look Genie Bro's got like 57 health. He's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a tank now. I'm literally, barely, literally a barbarian mixed with a paladin, scratch. mixed with that, with a monk. I'm a monster now. Yeah, barely <laughs> a scratch. Um, Just no armor class. But speaking of people who are wizards, everything and hits wimps. me. But God damn it, if I've got some HP now. <laughs> I mean, uh, not question. every obviously not everything is. I just deny you with two attacks. Yeah, I got lucky. That's it's not the yeah. same thing. Uh, Quothe, are you planning to go deal with that cloud of daggers group? I am. Can someone take down the big boy? Yeah. I'm going to try my yeah. best. They're sort of um, panicking with the cloud of daggers. Daggers that just spawn in them. <laughs> yeah, it's not, probably not a good day. <laughs> oh, sorry, that guy and that guy should be in those squares. 
Mm, that would be Make really sure dangerous. In, like an actual square here. That would be really rough. That would probably kill me. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I am going to bonus action Misty Step. Is Misty Step a bonus action? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, I just learned something. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to go right out that window. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> you just you left us. Uh, can you uh, clear me from the darkness there, sir? He's season one his inner Rowan. I don't know if I should. <laughs> <laughs> Put 30 guards out there rushing to the manor. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so that handles that, and then I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to drink a greater health potion. Was that 30 feet? Yes. That, that is exactly 30 feet, feet sir. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say is I can also do, I could also move the the map down if we need to. If you're going to keep running away, further away from the building, I can move the map. Uh, no, I I don't plan on running much further. Uh, Health-wise, that's, uh, what is it, D4, right? Uh, for a regular health potion? Greater. A greater. Uh, greater is Not... four, 4 D4 plus 4. Plus. 4 D4 plus 4. 4 D4 plus 4. I wish I had a superior, but I just, I don't have that in my inventory, so. Yep. I only, I don't think I've given out too many superior in this campaign yet. Alrighty. Um, that's, that's all of Tail's adventure there. So Shadow Spirit, just wail on the dude directly in front of you. Not, uh, John Zarconi, but, uh. Seventeen on the cults, cultist. Yeah, it does hit. That totally murders him. Uh, then the other one will go at the Don Zarconi. Twenty-three hits. For fourteen, not bad, not bad. He's getting down there. He's starting to look a little weak. He's starting to look a little weak. That's yeah. everything I got. Um, as he's starting to get like super injured and stuff, uh, he's gonna, as best as he can with his Godfather voice, shout uh to the his men. He says, "Whoever's able to kill these assholes is gonna be the new dawn if I die." Okay, I'm defecting, and I'm going after the party. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait for him to die first. Damn it, I was gonna okay. do that on my turn. Uh, which brings us to the cult fanatics, who... Uh, uh, the three at the top of the room, the one with the yellow dot, and then the two that are still alive in here. Um, they're gonna go... Um, shit. They're gonna go shit. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna go. They're gonna shit themselves right now. Um, one of them. Uh, let's see. Don Zarconi can actually see tail outside through this window. Um, he's gonna say. And hey, get that one who just teleported outside. <laughs> um, so one of them is going to come over to this window, bust it out, and shoot it tail. Um, this guy. Uh, That's a weird angle. I don't know. Okay, fine. He busts out this window. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Like the angle, it doesn't matter the window he busts out. I was just thinking it was a weird angle to try and shoot. That's all. Like, you're in range, absolutely. Like a disadvantageous um, position. <laughs> I wasn't going that far. I just thought it was a weird <laughs> angle. <laughs> it was moving over 
here. He jumps out the window, pissed off the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get shot either way. That's it's fine. <laughs> I'll move those there. Okay. Um. So let's see. Disadvantage. Yeah, and so the guy with the pink dot on him. Uh oh, he's still charmed, so he doesn't do he's anything. He's charmed. He's just hanging out. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Uh, Did you roll luckily... damage for him from the fireball? <laughs> Not to cheat, but. Oh yeah, he um, he did take damage from the fireball. Does that knock him out of the charm thing? Oh, Unfortunately, shit. yes. Look, it's been a while since we've had to deal with this crap. <laughs> Jobus is trying to be the dawn now. I don't even know. Um, so yeah, he he will. Like a weird uh, dot in the artwork. Like where? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> what? Or wait, what? There's For a who? pixel shaded on his artwork. <laughs> really? Uh, I can't see. It's it. on the above his left ear. I literally cannot. At it. I literally cannot see it. On my screen. I'm pointing at it. Huh. Here, move your mouse lower. Up. About. Okay. Go right there. Forward. See where his finger is? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it is. It's up that to the right. Like just about like a like centimeter. I literally, <laughs> cannot, I literally cannot see the pixel. Okay, we're wasting time. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> well, fucking fix it, Genie. <laughs> right? I, I, no, this is this is not for my my thing. You have Photoshop, fix it. <laughs> oh, I have the files. You don't have you have the <laughs> literally have them on your computer. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> God damn it, distracting me. You just want this to go until midnight, and then Chad's gonna. That's be what mad I'm at here you. for. No, that's what I'm here for. Oh, Chad can't do it till midnight. <laughs> I promise. We got seven minutes. I'm so tired. Here. Yeah, literally, like, this is why I wanted to do this next week. God damn it! Uh, I told you to fuck us up with a group of fucking vagrants in a in an alleyway, and you decided oh, to do the whole full oh, thing. No, how to go do this tonight? Can we stop mid fight? Is that... Yeah, we can. Uh, Arcane Tommy Gun against Tail is going to miss. Uh, two shots against Reshi because she's standing in a door. I think that's 16. Does that 16 hit you? I don't know no, if sir. it hits you anymore. Yeah. Okay. Does not hit. Um, in the room. Um, Let's see. Uh, the guy who walked into the room north of um, of Ajahar is going to just pull out a dagger and try and stab Rowan. Uh, like you 18, do. As you do. Uh, you take six piercing damage. Uh, the guy next to... Uh, the guy who's like nearly dead and afraid of the shadow is going to uh try and shoot rowan because you know he's the reason this is all happening uh 17 does that hit you rowan the fuck yes hey i mean you know could have gotten extra armor 16 Oof. force damage and then the guy who's standing next to quothe is gonna try and uh stab you quothe with a dagger i'm gonna intimidate to check him before he swings at me that doesn't that's not how this works fuck. that's not how any of this works <laughs> Uh, you, uh, I'm pretty sure you're raging, so you resist, uh, piercing yep. damage, so it's only two I'm damage. Not, I'm not feeling so well, Mr. Stark. <laughs> right? Quote is your turn. Yeah, I know okay. how it feels to get shot by Tommy guns repeatedly. It's not very pleasant, is it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the, uh, shooting stars ring. I'm gonna use the, fuck, do I gotta say it all like it makes sense? Hold on. I'm going to use the, it's called Ball Lightning, I believe. No, not Ball Lightning. It's called, I like yeah, ball it's Ball lightning. lightning. Okay, we're going to use Ball Lightning. I'm going to put it 
Why do I have so many fucking tabs to make this work, bro? I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to do one, which is a 4d12. And they all have four kids magically after ball lightning. <laughs> do you want to double check my math and my stuff there on that? Do you want me to post it really quick? Uh, this is a 15 dexterity save. Yes. They take the 4d12. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Five of them. I don't right? know why I did that there. Too many tabs once again. Okay, roll 40. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, only one of them saves, and you roll a 26. Now, can I use that one? Have we decided yet if that's a reroll? Wait, on that? <laughs> no, that, yes. def that is definitely not. That is definitely not a I, I, I throw the ball lightning in the air and I hit it with my great, nope. great weapon nope. mastery. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not. That, you take half damage for trying to do that. <laughs> you trying to weasel at bullshit. Okay. Fucking, you take. 13 damage of lightning <laughs> for trying to hit it with your freaking <laughs> entirely made of metal sight. Uh, okay, um, okay, so. I'm just double checking if it's half. I believe it is half uh, when I read it. Makes me continue on a failed save. No, it just says on a failed save they take damage, nothing about a successful save. So the one who saves doesn't take any damage. You still take okay, 13 perfect. trying to weasel your way through that bullshit. Okay, okay. I'll take the 13 here. She took the morning after pill. We got it. <laughs> All right. uh, so the guy in the upper right of the C is not going to take anything. And then everyone else takes 26, which totally fuck you. Literally, I don't think they've been hit at all, but they are all almost dead from that. Um, They're gonna take what is it six d four when their turn starts? It's gonna be rough for them. Well, no, they already That's rolled the really damage can. actually for that, right? Uh, it was like over, it was over what they had left. Literally, with the cloud of daggers, uh, these these nerds all are all dead. So I'm just marking them off dead now. Um, and then we'll go to uh, unless you have. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna something. action. I'm going to action surge. God damn it. Okay. Okay, can I hit uh, Oz from here or whatever the fuck? Don from here? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you have reach of 10 feet. 10 foot? Yeah. Okay, so... Action surge? Aren't you a barbarian? Uh, he's uh, now two levels into fighter. fighter. Nice. Surprise, <laughs> um, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, so this first attack, I'm going to use reckless attack. Yep. Um... Okay, so you get advantage on your attack. And everybody who anyway. attacks you coming in also has advantage. Yes. Um, I can't see hits. my roll. On. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. Um, Does that hit him? Yeah, 22 hits. I thought he was 23 for some reason. No, okay, so let's... Let's pop that. Damn. Actually, I'm going to use one more necrotic. I get two, right? Thing. You have two more charges, yeah. But I can only use two out of the three, otherwise I get a chance of breaking my sky. No, 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 no. If you use all three at the same time, then it might break. You can use okay, all I'm three charges two, separately. Okay, so or can I use can... two then yeah, on this one? Yeah, you can put one? two into it. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay, it's so was that 2d6? all the charges at once. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's take a look extra, at that. An extra 2d6. Yep. Let's roll 2d6. That might do it, actually. Uh, do I roll that one? 20... Mm, I don't know. I literally don't know. Uh, for now, yes. Okay, so one, one d6. And have to take whatever the next number is, even if it's a one. Oh, nice. Right. Roll a, that's the best thing you could do. So. Oh, oh, I'm not done. I don't want him to be dead yet. Okay, now go ahead. 
Uh, I was just gonna, I'm just calculating damage is all I was doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, fourteen and six is twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, thirty. You're up to thirty 31. points of damage. And he will die. He he is dead unless you want to murder his corpse more. Um, no, we'll swing on this guy below me. Um, I have to move him over here so I can do that. Okay. So he's, yeah, okay. he had 29 HP. You killed him by one HP. Okay, let's swing at this guy below me. I know they're going to start running probably. Oof. Uh, 14, that hits. So the guy right below you, right? Yeah, it's 14. I forgot to take advantage of, right? No, no. All of Is your it attacks, first roll? Okay. No, all of your attacks, when you do reckless, it's all of your well, attacks. Well, it says only on the first attack when I read it. I'm pretty sure reckless is all of your attacks. Is it? I'll reread it again. <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, 9, 13 damage. Now, does my action that. surge give me back my bonus action? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't think it does. I think it's just the uh, just an attack action. Yeah, it's just in one action, one standard action. You could turn it into like a dash or something. Um, gotcha. Or, you know, whatever. But it do doesn't give you bonus actions. Um, I think okay. that's your turn, right? Actually, it says, it says and a possible bonus action. And a possible bonus action. Oh, yeah. well, What's then that there mean? you go. Okay, yeah, mm. if you have bonus actions, I thought it was just an action. But if it gives you a Well, it doesn't make bonus sense. The wording's weird. No, so it says on your turn, you take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. Okay, so yeah, that means so not everybody has bonus actions, right? Uh, I got you. I got you. So okay. if you have bonus actions available to you, you can actually take one. I've, I haven't played a fighter in so long. I forgot. Okay, this. I'm gonna pull arm, and I didn't DM because I thought I still had advantage. I don't do. know if that works that way. Okay. Yes, all of your attacks on your turn. Okay, I didn't know if a bonus action count as the attack. It's an attack. All right. So. Oh, I forgot to click that. Uh. Well, you did for the. So, 8 and 10, 16. Oh, I did? Uh, yep. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Didn't mean to do it well, again. I don't know how I did it again, now. but I did. He's dead. <laughs> he's very dead. Okay. He's, he's I'm very just trying to be thorough dead. here. Yes. I appreciate that. Um, We can resurrect him and kill him again if you really <laughs> yeah. want to keep going. Can I use scroll of transference on him? Can I use a bonus bonus action? No. Yeah. <laughs> also, reading a scroll is an action anyway. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, wait a minute. I thought that was what Ethan's rules, not yours. I thought yours was a bonus. Nope. No, no, no. You can drink a, a potion as a bonus action. Yeah, you can drink a it's potion as a bonus action. Uh, so normally right now it would be Reshi's turn, but it is 11.04, and you killed the Dawn, and all of the rest of these guys are probably not going to put up much of a fight. Uh, So... All I will work <laughs> out uh, what your treasure and everything is in the coming week uh, because this guy is a mob boss and there is, you know, a club that you get to ransack full of stuff. Ledgers that, like, will probably tell you about holdings that this guy has and maybe, you know, even, like, his wallet probably has a couple of gold coins in it. Dibs on his books. But, uh... <laughs> Gibbs on his money. <laughs> you know what, Tail? I did have something prepared. You do find a book. Uh, let me see if it is here. Is it on the forbidden list? <laughs> um... Oh, it is... Most definitely a restricted book a hundred percent it's unfortunately not in the compendium that i have um let me look up real quick um 
Uh, you find a book that is black leather. It has gold around the outside. And on the front of it, there's this medallion with a devil's skull on it. Um, two big curled horns, golden face. It is chained to the front of the book. Uh, you get a pretty wicked vibe from this book. I got this one stuffed under my mattress. Welcome to your puberty. <laughs> um, I will reveal what it is uh, once you have a chance to cast like spells and stuff on it. Um, mm -hmm. If you have any yeah, guesses we'll as next to week. what it is, feel free to do that while I look up somebody to uh raid into tonight um but uh yeah thank you guys for sticking out that um that that fight there um spooky sprinkles is on uh team member spooky sprinkles uh speaking of team members everybody uh Go, go check out, um, is it players? Oh, wait, crap. My bot's broken, uh, tonight. Uh, guys, <laughs> hold on one sec. Um, I connect. Please connect my bot, please. Why is this happening? Uh, we're going to raid Spooky Sprinkles here in just a second. Uh, but I do want to... I think it's important that I link um, to my... Uh, to the players here. Why is this not the... It is the right password, phone. <laughs> Genie, did you hack my phone? Mm, no lying son of a bitch <laughs> um guys let's go around the table here real quick uh rachel let them know what you're doing uh this week so we've revamped the channel we're kind of doing like uh my streaming partner and me doing our own separate streams and then sometimes together so it's kind of like a podcast and then kind of like just gaming whenever we feel like it so uh stop by if you feel like it it's fun uh, saying ready. What are we doing this week? Uh, this Monday it's 7 p.m. We're going to be watching uh, another movie in the Speakeasy. We'll have a gin-themed cocktail. The movie will be uh, The Man from Uncle. Um, I can't think of the name of the actor off the top of my head right now, but uh, he's the man who plays Superman. He also played The Witcher uh, in the Netflix series. Uh, Henry Cavill uh, is Ooh. the lead in that movie. Thinking of the Cavill man. No one calls him that. The cavil, <laughs> the cavalry, as they say. Uh, everybody calls him the cavalry, right? Uh, Genie, bro, what you got going on in your life? I have literally right? nothing going on this week. Um, nothing. Yeah, I don't. My, I'm trying to think if I appear on anybody else's stream. I don't think I do. Um, I'm not quite ready to do the things that I do. I've been, I've been off for the last like two and a half, almost three weeks, so. Um, I think the week after this will be when you see me back and we're going to change the format up and start doing a little more, a little more focused content. And I'm definitely going to say like fucking common jizz and nice. ball sacks a lot more. Those are words that move the needle. If you know like what I'm it. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody definitely likes, you've everybody been watching likes. my stream genie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start saying. <laughs> A lot too, so get ready for that. Everybody likes a good come and jizz stream, you know. Everybody loves come. Yeah. Be real here. I mean, who doesn't, right? <laughs> uh, so check out uh, Genie Bra uh, streaming now on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else in the group is like, I'm done. I'm done for I all can't. of your. I can't. It's bad. For all your come stream yeah. needs. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking hate him. I can't do it anymore. 
<laughs> I did that not click. Uh, Chad, what are you doing this week? Uh, this week it's going to be FPS as every other week. Uh, Genie, pretty uh, pretty strong outline on how my channel works. Yes. Um, Dude, I come every time. I, I couldn't have scripted it better. Uh, <laughs> that's that's it in a nutshell. Rainbow Six. A lot of nuts. Uh, a lot of shooting. A lot of teabagging. <laughs> Mostly of his mouth. It. Yes. Sand gritty. I don't know why I have to security check this. It's fucking bullshit, you guys. Okay, well let's let's just sit here and talk for a bullshit. Bit. So Jobus. What are you doing this week, brother? Nothing. 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 Son of a bitch. Playing with me is not nothing. Fucking everything. You being on. You can catch me Chad's sometimes stream? on Chad's stream. <laughs> you can. I occasionally stream. I did stream recently some R6. Fuck. Watch my no. crappy R6 rank play. That's pretty much it. There we go. Finally. Basically, if you're God, not, God if you're not a pro at R6, then it's crappy. <laughs> it's crappy yeah, R6. That's true. <laughs> Oh, I got um, I got cursed and now I'm stuck in it seems I'm stuck in the brawn pit of hell. Damn. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us here through my bot troubles. Fucking hell. I changed my password recently for Twitch and I completely forgot what it was. <laughs> so it took me a little bit longer. But go click all those links, follow all of our friends here. Uh we're gonna raid into uh, spooky sprinkles, please, guys. Over the next week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will try and uh, be around at some point. I will try and get back on my normal stream time of 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, noon Pacific. My sleep schedule's been totally fucked up recently, uh, but we're gonna be doing some artwork for the. Uh, I'm making a new credits scene at the end of the show. Uh, for the end of the show, and I'll be making a new uh, intro for the beginning of the show. Uh, thank you to... We're powered by Roll20 here. I use Roll20 for the thing. I gotta mention that. And all of the maps, all like the uh, that you saw, except the ones that were hand-drawn by me. Um, so that was the Tavern uh, and the Map of Asari. Those were all elements used from Gabriel Picard on Roll20. The music is by uh, Epidemic Sound. Uh, so we have rights to, to all that stuff through purchases. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to raise Spooky Sprinkles. We'll be back next week at 7 o'clock, hopefully for a much smoother uh, episode two. You know, they say that the, the number of the episode that matches the number of the season is like the true beginning, right? So episode two of season two is going to be like the smooth beginning. Uh, Don Zarconi is dead. We'll get treasure next week. We're going to find out what this uh, weird, spooky, evil vibe book is all about. And, uh, yeah. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye. Peace. I'll just wave with this hand so I can click the button with the other hand.